Well, hello, everyone. Can you hear me? I hope you can. Welcome in, everybody. And that. Why did that change? should see hold on what's going on hold on guys Y'all should not be able to see the bottom. Hmm. All right. You know what? We're just going to do this. And go with. Options. Graphics. So the reason why I don't like doing this as full screen is because I can never. Like I can't back out of it. You know what I mean? So, so as soon as I click out, it pops up with this. So, and I don't know why that's the case. So I don't know what's going on either way though. You know what? We're just going to rock and roll with it and we're going to start. Uh, we're just going to take off. So everything should be good now. Audi, can you hear me? They do not have a borderless full screen, no. Unfortunately. Like, you have exclusive full screen. Yeah, full screen, you have windowed. That's it. So. It is what it is. Okay. That's just what we're going to deal with. All right, so we're going to go to game. Oh, not here. Hold on. Uh, let's go back. So welcome in everybody. Happy freaking what is today? Tuesday? I think it's Tuesday. Yeah, happy Tuesday. Hope everyone's having an amazing day. Uh so today we're gonna be jumping into Green Hell. We're gonna be doing the story mode. Uh we're gonna do King of the Jungle, which is hard mode. Basically, sanity's on, hostile tribes are on, predators are on, and uh nutrient depletion is on increased. So that's what we're going to be working with. We have to over overwrite this one. So this is where we're going to start. So let's jump straight in and uh, and check out all that green hell has to offer. This is one of my favorite games of all time. This game is absolutely amazing. Come up. Um, you do know you have the walkie talkie, right? You can come up. Just go ahead. Mm -hmm. I need to find something in, in my backpack. I bet you want to nap some more. <laughs> I know you all too well. Can't hide anything from you. Very well. You can catch up, I guess. 
The path leads through that canyon. Mm-hmm. I know. All right. So here we are. Green Hell. Let's go check out and see what we can find. Oh, uh, have you tied down the boat? Hey. Jake, um, <laughs> I know this might sound stupid under the circumstances, um, but I am glad we came back here. Yeah, I feel you. Yeah, this place is beautiful. Still. Still, we can't forget what we came here for in the first place, I know. But as soon as we're settled in, I am off to the Jabawaka village. And what if they will not speak to us? Come on, let's not get ahead of ourselves. You're a phenomenal interpreter. If anyone can communicate with them, it's you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Good thing I have an anthropologist at hand, Dr. Higgins. Dr. Higgins? Okay, I found the tent. Is everything all right? Spacious interior. Luscious cots. Not all that fancy. Oh, and there's a dirt floor. As long as it doesn't leak, I am fine with it. Soul Trail always delivers. At first glance, it looks like we have everything we might need. Better. All right, day two. Well, that's everything. We're officially <sighs> settled in. You know what that means, don't you? I remember the agreement, but maybe you should, maybe we should reconsider this. I'm not sure it's the best idea for you to visit them alone. Cariño, you know I have to do this. It's the only way to make them talk. Oh, don't worry. It'll be all right. Better pick up some wood. Let's have a romantic dinner. Romantic can beans. <laughs> Use your imagination. All right. Uh, we can't open the door. Campers started, please. Oh, come on! You're my wife. We just got to the Amazon. On, I just want a little bit. Of started. Fine. Please. Want to have a little cuddle time, but whatever. All right. Uh, we need to read all these. All right. The Yabawaka, living in the deep interior of the Amazon, the Yabawaka is one of about eighty lost tribes. Due to a fear of the modern and cruel world, they mostly remain isolated. While they welcome us, they are the key and only led as to and the only lead as to why we are here. Okay. Quit. Uh, anything else we can look at? Let's look at this one. Do not touch the dart frog. This deadliest amphibian on planet is completely harmless for the natives, thanks to the Cabo ritual. South American tribe catch a living frog to extract the poison. Then they puncture burned uh, children with skin, children's skin with small dose of the frog poison until they become immune. All right. What's this over here? Uh, rainforest mammals, harmless, behind the danger. There's still not much beauty within this jungle. Uh, the capuara and the armadillo, many small mammals are a food source for the indigenous locals uh rich in proteins and fats they are a great complement of fruits and vegetables <laughs> excuse me what's this one uh the lost tribe this is their land their heritage as it has been for thousands of years everyone who comes here needs to respect this so they have hunters and they have the shabano uh it's been three years since we saw them last they often react with fear to the unknown it's crazy but we really need their help. Our entire plan depends on it. Hey Meg, how are you? All right. The emergent layer up top, you got the canopy layer, you got the understory and you got the undergrowth. So there we go. We got bugs and insects down here. We got monkeys and stuff up top, birds. And then, uh, and then, you know, we got, we got other horrible things. All right. So here we go. Um, I gotta remember uh, notebook we got to make a fire so let's just put that right here 
Uh, we need to get some small sticks. So let's just walk around. Ooh, hello. We got ourselves a, a nice little, little Honey, knife. I can't seem to find a bag or two. Are you sure you brought everything? <gasps> yeah, everything the porters left. Why? Is anything missing? I'm not sure yet. Uh, huh, but it feels that way. All right. Audi bot member for five months Fox naughty scouts uh, thank you for all the fun live streams and content you have made uh, I am happy to be a part of this community excited to see it grow thank you so much Audi I don't know what's going on with my alerts my alerts didn't pop up uh, I have no idea what's going on Audi thank you so much for resubbing man I really appreciate you buddy I will get that figured out so we can get that so I can make sure that gets fixed Maybe it's just delayed. It might just be delayed. Uh, all right, so we need these sticks here. Let's go ahead and grab. How many sticks did we grab? Uh, we have one stick. Uh, okay, so we just need small sticks. Oh, 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 oh. What happened to that big thing that I just chopped down? Where's the campfire? Over here. Where'd it go? I chopped it down. There it is. All right, let's go ahead and harvest. All right, let's harvest some more of these. What, what is going on with my YouTube alerts aren't working? I don't know why. I know they're working on Twitch. All right, let's go ahead and grab that. Harvest that up. All right, now just regular sticks. There we go. So, uh, sorry, you missed what I said. Uh, I said, I don't know what's going on with my Twitch alerts. Something's going on, or my YouTube alerts. Well, looks like everything's ready. Mia, can you bring me a lighter? Um, remember when I mentioned we seemed to be lacking some equipment? <sighs> Don't tell me. Yeah, we have no fire. <sighs> uh, we just lighter, started. Nor box of matches. Uh, we, we ordered both. Did you check everywhere? I did. You need to do it the old-fashioned way. Well, not the best start of the expedition. Come on, give it to me. It's not that. Oh, I can't remember. Notebook. There it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So why stick or smoke? Oh, we need a plank. That's what it was, guys. We need a plank. We need a plank. All right, here we go. <laughs> you guess I didn't respond. Respond to what? What didn't I respond to? Have you seen the game that developers of Green Hell are making? Yes, I have seen uh, stuff about it. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, There we go. Plank and stick no a small stick hmm. I need to find something dry I have something dry now we have the hand drill let's go ahead and use it and we have a little bit of birds Spit. you love space camp it's gonna be super good hey a blonde 24 thank you so much for the heart I really appreciate you Welcome in, welcome in. Oh, Mia. The fire is burning. Coming. Give me a minute. How do you do it? Hmm? What? You seem so calm. I am calm. I don't know how to explain it, but strangely, it feels safer here than there. 
Oh, I don't know. Jaguars, venomous spiders, and snakes. Let's not forget the scorpions. A <laughs> mere ant's bite hurts like hell. I am well aware of that. But still, we have a chance to achieve something. Make a difference. At home, all we could have done was be helpless and wait. I prefer the wilderness. Aww. I love you. I love you. If I had known where my ambition would lead us, if I knew it would put you in danger, I wouldn't have written that damn book. Yeah. And if everyone had that attitude, there would be no scientific progress whatsoever. Don't blame yourself. There might still be time to reverse the whole thing. And I love you too, Karim. Nonetheless, I'm a bit worried about you meeting the Yabawaka. Everything will be fine. I need to go alone. We already agreed that's the only way. Besides, they don't seem to like you. <laughs> they don't seem to like outsiders. They shot arrows at a military chopper. Hard to blame them. Since you published your book, they've been under siege by the media, scientists, doctors. The World Health Alliance established a medical camp and probably performed research, violating the tribe's taboos. But I will convince them. I have to. I'm, I'm here and on TikTok tonight. I'm not restreaming though, no. While this is getting set up, give me one second. Let me go grab my medicine. physical therapy today and I know I'm gonna be in a lot of pain so I wanted to make sure I grabbed it so uh, there's no issues later <laughs> it's been a very painful a couple days as it is Ugh. all right here we go kind of go to space survive what what is oh no man's sky I still haven't played that yet all right guys here we go Let's go ahead and grab oh no nope. All right, we've already read this. Oh, read note. I'm at Village. Call me with radio when you wake up. There's a little gift for you. Aw, look at the watch. All right, let's call her. Hello? Hello. Mia? Mia? Hey, sleepyhead. Finally up? I am. You left already? Why didn't you wake me up? Well, I was hoping we'd have breakfast together. You surprised me. That's all. <laughs> Admit it. You thought I forgot your birthday, didn't you? Well, I didn't. Aww. Let's go ahead and grab our watch. Exactly what I wanted. It even has solar batteries. And a macro element scanner. Check yourself to see if you're not missing any. We've been here only a few days, but stress can wear you out. Tell me about it. All right. Look at that. So the red is proteins. The water or the, the droplets thing is. Calories, maybe? The yellow is carbohydrates, and of course, blue is water. All right, I'm good. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look. We already looked at the Yabawaka. We saw that. We can't really see this one. The tobacco leaves are great for healing venom, venom bites. But what else can they heal? I saw a plant to the north. Okay, something about to the north. We read that one and what's this one? Okay, we read that one as well. Red is protein. Yeah, yeah, I said red protein, yellow is carbohydrates and blue is water, green. I can't remember what green is, uh, but it's okay. All right, let's go ahead and take that, take that. Is there anything back here? 
nothing really back here. Uh, so let's go ahead and eat. There we go. Well rested and well fed. Perfect. Green is fats. Okay. And yeah, that's right. That way. We need that brain of yours working at peak performance. I'll try to take good care of it. Have you found them yet? See, si. and as expected, they don't want to talk. Let's see if I can't turn down my sensitivity. They behave as if uh, that's I'm a little not better. Here. But they have a little better. Okay. Away. That's a good sign. You need to convince them that you're one of them. Mm-hmm. Agreed. That seems to be the right course of action. I will sleep on the edge of the village and only eat what I can find. Brave girl. Thanks for the encouragement. Looks like I'm on my own from now on. Looks like we, we made so it. As long as I remain in the Look region. how far I'm we've come, same, my baby. I really don't want to lose touch. If anything goes wrong, I'll leave the village and get you on the radio. Otherwise, you can assume everything is just fine and there is no need to worry. <sighs> All right. Let's focus on the goal. I'll be focusing on indexing new plant species. I think I saw a few new specimens around here. Meg, I can always turn it into a two-player. All right. The effects of psychedelic substances usually last several hours. In that time, the participant of the ceremony experience a spiritual revelation. The banner strips, kapai, and the psychiatric blah, 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 blah. Aku, uh, uh, ayahuasca is to be taken only in the presence of a shaman who also serves as a guide. Okay. Recording number one. So. Can, can we cut up? Let's look at some audio settings real fast. Volume, let's cut up volume. Dialogues, I want to cut up. Music, okay. Ambient, okay. Sound effects, okay. All right. I'm on the expedition with my wife, Mia. Hey, Mia. Hey, Mia. Say hello. is up so we can start working right away i'll focus on indexing new plant species and mia can you explain what you're gonna do uh well i'm going to meet the jabahuaca tomorrow i'm worried you know of course you are but i'm ready don't you think i believe so but it's still dangerous i know honey don't worry okay that's all for now it was Jake Higgins, day one. All right, there we go. I do think, though, that we need to cut this back down a little bit. And then we need to cut this down just a little bit. Okay. All right, there we go. All right, how does it... Is it sounding okay, guys? All right, what am I supposed to look for? Check the cork board. I checked the cork board already. I read all these. Oh, now I can read this one. Okay. The tobacco plant leaves are great for healing venom bites. But what else can they heal? I saw this plant on the north side of the camp after climbing a rock. There are plenty of them. Uh, it's a good place to start. All right, let's go look. So we want to look north so we know where we're going. Look how far we've come, my baby. All right. That is where we need to go right there, but... Um... Let's go ahead and grab this. All right, so here's the cliff where they found the tobacco. So let's go out there and take a look. You've been rewatching Meg's Resident Evil Audi? That's awesome. Oh no! Oh, fuck me. Mia, I knew I was supposed to not call, but. A line snapped and I fell down a good 30 feet. Just me, are, are you okay? 
I'm not sure. Hold on. I'll walk away a bit so they can't hear you. Let me know once you have checked yourself. Uh, we gotta check ourselves. So... Nope, nothing there. Oh, Ooh, oh no. That's definitely not good. Uh, they're not gonna tell me yet, are they? Okay. Uh, it's, it's alright. Nothing's broken. Just scratches and bruises. Nothing to worry about. In the jungle, every scratch can be dangerous. You need to patch everything up. Do you remember how to do it? I do. Yes, I do. Molinaria. Long, smooth, <laughs> acute leaf. Surrounded by yellow flowers. That's it. Exactly, okay. Blue. I'll go look for it. Exactly. You should have it in your notepad. Call me when you've treated your wound. Roger that. Over and out. <laughs> Mia, I got ouchies. I need kissy kissies. I need kissies, Mia. Alright. So now we need to open this up. And it was on this arm. Oop. Alright. Here I am. All wrapped up nicely. Mm. Does it hurt? Yeah, it hurts. Uh, it hurts like so hell. bad. Aww, pobrecito mio. Imagine I am hugging you now. Mm-hmm. What else better? are you doing? Uh, a bit better. Yes. So, how are you doing? I'll be initiated in a few days. I am optimistic. I expect to be treated as one of their own after that, and I should be able to ask some questions then. Some elders are opposed to this, though. Luckily, Chief Kuini is on my side. Why are they opposed? I think... I think they were divided even before I joined them. The Chief wanted to approach the World Health Alliance peacefully, but a few of the elders insisted on fighting. Now. The Jabahuaca basically have two factions. Sounds dangerous, Mia. Be careful. I'm not in any danger. Told you, I'm optimistic. Okay. All right, let's go to sleep. Oh, day 32. Jake, please come in. Jake, I need you here. Jake, please. Please answer me. Mia? What happened? Mia, speak to me. Mia! Mia! What the hell's going on over there? Let's go. Amazing intro, I agree, Jake, Meg. What the hell is going on there? Blue, Come when's on. the last time you played this game?
Mia. Mia? God damn it, this radio. Let's grab some nanners. Any more nanners? This all the nanners you got for me? That's crazy. Hello? Can anyone hear me? I had an accident. I don't know what happened. Please, help. Over. Fuck. Oh, okay. Gotta find sticks. Do I have nothing is? Okay, I got the bananas is all I got in my inventory. Okay. All right, we're good on everything else. So let's just try to find some stickies. I can't punch that down. All right. Oh, there's a stick. I got a stick. I got a stick. I got a stick. Hey, 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 hey. I got a stick. You don't have a stick, but I got a stick. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, small stick. Another small stick. I need a rock. Small stick. Hello, Rocky. Oh, there we go. All right, we got a rock. Uh, we don't have any rope yet. Let's go ahead and grab some rope. Any more? We got a little bit more. Okay. So we got a little bit of stuff here. Let's go ahead and craft ourselves. Oh, that's obsidian. Oh, all right. That wasn't a rock. That was obsidian. Uh, craft and then a rope. There we go. We're going to start off with an obsidian axe. That's not bad, guys. That's not bad at all. Uh, let's go ahead and get a big tree down. Because a couple things we're going to have to start with. Let's go ahead and grab. Oh, oh, let's go ahead and take that. We want to craft that with this. We got a bow. Okay. And then was there one more long one? Yeah, there's one more long one. Let's go ahead and craft it. And it's a weak spear, but you know it is a spear nevertheless. So we now have a spear. We have. Now I don't. Oh, we need feathers for for that, don't we? Okay, okay, okay. We're fine. We're fine. It's been a hot minute. Yeah, I, I, this game is just. It's still my favorite game of all time. All right, let's um. Let's start working our way. This way. Hopefully, we'll find a coconut somewhere. Don't fall. Oh, don't look down. I look down. I look. Okay. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Okay. Oof, everything's going to be, everything's going to be okay. Oh, pretty, pretty flowers. We should just make a base here and don't go anywhere. Just stay here forever. Hey, little mousey mouse. I hear something. Don't know what it is. This is hard, hard difficulty. Oh, that would be good to get some honey. I didn't do the hardest difficulty, the green hell, uh, because it's permadeath. So I didn't do that one. Oh my gosh. Hey, little guy. You freaked me out. I thought you were a mountain lion. All right, we got a couple of those just in case anything bad happens to us. Let's go ahead and grab up some more. Oh, we can't. 
Oh, here's some more rope. All right, we need to find feathers. I hate all these little noises. It's the only way to really do it. You know what I mean, Blue? If we're going to do it, we might as well do hard mode. All right, we need a rock still. Can we make a rock? I know there are noises, but it doesn't mean I like the noises, Blue. Because I know what's out there from time to time. I just want a rock. Give me a rock. Oh, there's a rock. Maybe? No. Nope. It, it is a rock, but not a rock I can grab. So that's awesome. And I had obsidian, but you just finished a hundred year war with another empire. Or I don't, I'm going to have to look into that game Audi. Cause I don't think we can do anything with it without a blade. Right? Yeah. All right, there's a big stone. Let's harvest it. All right, let's go ahead and craft stone blade. There it is right there. Let's go ahead and harvest him. All right, now we got a little bit of food that we can cook here in just a few minutes. And if I recall, I just saw some feathers. Yeah, buddy. All right, let's go ahead and harvest this. And let's make some, uh, I can't remember. Is it three? There's two. Okay. So we can make three arrows. That's a great start. All right. Let's go ahead and put these like way up here. So we don't have any issues with inventory management. All right. Let's keep going. Hey guys. I could eat you, but you know, I don't really want to right now. All right, let's go ahead and grab some. I can't get that. Why can't I get that? There we go. And any nuts on the ground? No nuts. No nuts. Okay. Um, which way did we come from? We gotta go this way, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, more feathers. We're on the right track. Oof. All right, here we go. We have a little bit of charcoal. There's a map. All right, let's read. Religious rituals and healing ceremonies of the Yabawaka tribe can't go without a hallucinogenic brew called ayahuasca, which means liana of the souls. It's also made out of vine, more specifically... Banisteropsis capi, which contains harmine and harmaline. 
These substances alone have hallucinogenic properties, but to access the full power of the ayahuasca, other ingredients are added. Another vine. Dipa, blah, 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 with an equally high amount of psychedelics. Leaves the... Yep, yeah, okay. There you go. If y'all want to read it, y'all can read it. Press pause. All right. So, oh, a nice bone knife. Nice, nice, nice. Let's, um... We got the bone knife there and a stone knife. Eee, let's go ahead and get rid of this one. Bone knife durability, 100%. Um, well, I mean, I guess it wouldn't hurt to just hold on to it for now, right? All right. Uh, so we can, at this point, just start setting up a base. I think one thing we should do is start working on getting a fire going. Which one is the fire in? All right, we got the stone ring which we could do to make it a little bit bigger, which might be the best. Oh, good idea, Blue. Good idea. Um, okay, we can't get that one. Craft Stone Blade Stone Spear. All right, now we're moving. Now we're moving, guys. All right, we're kind of full now. We need to get some stones. How many more of the, we only have one bird feather? Okay. So let's start looking for big stones. Got him. Got him. You dead, sucker. All right. First mountain lion gone. And we're dirty. Hold on. Let's wash ourselves. That way we don't get any parasites. Midas, yeah, Midas is back. He's one heck of a fighter too, Audi. All right. Let's go ahead and bring this over and get this set up and started. How many in total do we need? I can't remember. We need big stone, one, two, three more big stones and a bunch of small ones. Or we can just go to sleep real fast and wait till morning, which might be the best thing that we do. And eh, it's still, it's still a little light, so we'll be okay. Do I still have three? Yeah, okay, good, good, good. All right, we're just hunting for some big rocks now. Obsidian. I could have swear there used to be rocks back here. There's a big stone. Yeah, Blue, I was actually chatting with Meg. 
That's not the tobacco plant, right? I don't think so. We're going to grab it just in case. It is tobacco flowers. Okay, cool. Those are the ones that aren't. Okay, gotcha. Um, and I was like, I had physical therapy today. I'm hurting like hell. And I was like, I don't know what to do today. Like, I, I want to do something chill and relaxing and, and just kind of vibe out. And she suggested this and she suggested, uh, Stardew or, uh, and I was like, you know, I, I have never played. There's literally no videos of me playing green hell on YouTube. So I think it'd be a good run through. I think it'd be good to, to actually do. All right. And I think there was one more like right over here. Wasn't there? There it is. And then we can do green hell and then go straight into spirits of Amazonia. Um, and then I can work on seeing if they have fixed the bugs where I will be able to actually get a hundred percent in this game now. Uh, well, when I, when I played it, Meg, the, it was when we completely lost internet during that year and whatever time that I, year and a half that I wasn't really able to stream on a regular basis. Um, so it became more of a, um, you still haven't finished it blue. Oh my goodness, dude. Oh, I can't believe you haven't finished this. Such an amazing game. The storyline just gets better and better and it's just awesome. What is Midas? You know, Midas, he's got the Midas touch. Um, the, the gold, gold guy. Never heard of Midas, King Midas. Same kind of thing. I'm assuming we'll be able to kind of speed run, if you will, through, through this one. You know, it's kind of what I'm assuming. How do I not have, oh, come on, one more, really? One more rock, come on. What? <laughs> Let's use an armadillo for a rock. We clearly have a leech on us, but that's okay. We're still looking for a rock like that one. Come on. Yes. Yeah, but like day two or three here doesn't, don't we get bones from like one of, one of those guys will come in and I'll shoot him in the face and I'll just steal all of his bones and do what I need to do, you know? Oh my God, leeches. <laughs> oh, there they are. Well, I mean, if we get the armadillos, we could kill them. You're, you're absolutely right. And we should, I should just do it, but clearly I'm a bum. Uh, we'll do this one here. And then I don't think we have any, 
we can't we can't harvest that uh tobacco leaves let's go ahead and craft these into hold on hmm i don't think i have any i don't i've got nothing so we have to somehow get some scraps Is it these we can do it with? One of these we're supposed to be able to harvest. Ugh, I don't know. Um... You can always take a log here and harvest this for the, there we go. We got ourselves a hand drill now. Let's go ahead and harvest a few of these. So we have them. You only play Fortnite for the story. <laughs> yeah. Fortnite gets a little old in my opinion. I mean, I like it and all, but uh, I don't want these to get spoiled. So I'm curious if I should just hang them out. Okay, we still got some time. Um, We also haven't found any coconuts. So maybe it would be a good idea to hang out the big cat. And then we'll use the others when we can. We have to find something blue. Do you remember which leaves we can harvest for? Uh, we need to sleep, but I really need a, uh, do we have anything in our notebook that tells us what we can turn into? Yeah, it's the yellow ones. Okay. Hmm. Not to make a fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To turn into like brush or whatever it is. So let's go ahead and get those. Not for the bandage, just for the brush, like to make dead leaves. Well, all of them you can't harvest. Okay, that one did. Okay. All right, let's go clean ourselves. Yeah, bandage. Yeah, of course the bandage leaves you can. Let's just make that a little bit, you know, more... You've memorized the Fortnite storyline? Good golly, Audi. All right, let's uh, go ahead and use the hand drill. Shit. I'm exhausted, I can't do it. All right, we'll wait till the morning. All right. Now we can. The battle royale into the main story mode now. Keep it up, Allie. If you can be 100% accurate, why don't you use your amazing abilities and make me a storyline so I can... So I can make a video on it. <laughs> All right, we need some water, which should be fine. We can just drink this water and then 
We need to find coconuts, though. Can you tell me about your pal world? Sure. Tell me all about your pal world. How did I not get any parasites from that? That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Audi, that's what I mean. Like, if you take it and just, like, write it all down from the very beginning to the end, and I can... I can make a video on it. Uh, can you hear the eye roll in Foxy's voice? <laughs> there may be a little. All right, stone trap. Let's go ahead and put this down here. Okay, that's just uh, a couple small sticks and we need a big stone. Which, if I remember, we saw a big stone. Ooh. A couple big stones, like right over here, didn't we? Yeah, there's one right over there, I think. Uh, so far, uh, just look up in the trees for a coconut, throw a rock at it. That's actually a great idea, Blue. All right. Let me harvest this one real fast. Uh, well, I started first the breeding program. And then... So far, I have one with three gold passives, all for speed. It's so fast. Which one is it? Is it Jet, 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 Dragon, 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 or whatever his name is? I don't know how you could do that to get a coconut drink. What do you mean? If you look up in the, in the sky, you'll see, you'll see some, um, tobacco flowers. Okay. Hold on. We got to craft some of these real fast. No, not those ones. Hold on. Let's remove these. Let's do these. Tobacco leaves. There they are. Okay. Hi, Mr. Dart Frog. How are you? Hey, buddy. All right. Um, so let's look up and see if we can't find some coconuts. I can't remember how to throw. Do you remember how to throw? G? Okay. I never threw a rock. I just died. <laughs> I see no coconuts at all. How is there no coconuts in the coconut trees? And they're not on the ground either. All right, let's go back towards the, the base. It, it's been a little while since I played, so. I wonder
wonder if hard mode just makes it harder. It's like, nope, no coconuts for you. This is hard mode. There has to be some, there's gotta be something. Well, obviously, yeah, but. How is there not any coconuts? Ooh, I'll take you though. Really? Really, Meg? You should go do that on my Twitch page. That way I can just export them. There's literally zero coconuts. Added quote 42. Thank you, Meg. And I do have the bot over here, but Yeah, see, I told you I had the bot over here. You are the bot. See? <laughs> Megabot. <laughs> Well, hello, Megabot. How are you doing? Blue, what in the world, dude? Plan to add a new dog variation. The voted mob and yes, doggy armor. Yes, I'm looking forward to the doggy armor. Megabot, where have you been? Well, if I picked easy mode after already 100%ing the game, then I get picked on, you know? Although I did 100% the game in hard mode, so... I have also beat the game in... Well, this one, not Spirits of Amazonia. I beat this one in green hell mode. Hmm. You're always lurking. I call fibs megabot. All right. We have to figure out what in the world's going on. This is going to go bad. I don't want it. Oh, it already went bad. Damn it. All right. We do have the two can meat though. Let's go ahead and just start cooking it up. I was hoping to make like a stew or something, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. So. I'm not doing, I'm not spawning in a coconut. <laughs> I 
I am curious as to why there are none though. Like there should be, like there should be on the ground or up in the trees. All right, I don't want that to burn, so. Let's just grab this. How are we looking? We're not looking too bad. And we could just make it really, really easy and go ahead and go to the next level. I mean, we could, that, that is something that could happen and we could do. Um, how are these looking? Okay. As long as it doesn't rain, we should be okay. Let's, <clears throat> I think we get bones from this, don't we? We get a few. Not enough to do what we want, though, I don't think. But I think it's three bones, right? Oh, oh, that actually made quite a few for us. Okay. Uh, so let's craft, craft, craft. And then is it two? Uh, it's three. It's two and three, right? Or is it three and three? Nope. I thought this was... I thought it was two... Two and three rope. Uh... I don't remember. We need to figure that out. All right, let's go for a hunt for actually, you know what? In the meantime, let's put this little snail. You gotta, oh, 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 you gotta have banana leaves with it. Really? For bone armor? Okay. Uh, let's go in. Let's see if we can't figure out how to make bone armor. Is it one of them or any armor requires man at least? Okay. Thanks, bud. Hmm. Whatever. Let's uh craft. I can't remember how many. Is is it one of these? I'm pretty sure it's Let's just do two of those and then three of these. Okay, let's try two of those and three of these. Aha! There we go. So it's one, two ropes and three bones. Okay. All right, so at least that's a good start, right? Another thing we could do is, oh, it's gonna start raining so this thing isn't covered. Urgh. We could just go cook it, I suppose. We still need a freaking coconut, man. Uh, mm. Three bone, two rope, nice. Thank you, Blue. Raise my sanity up a little bit.
Well, you guys want to just go ahead and do the ayahuasca and move on to the next level? Because I think that's the best spot in the game, in my personal opinion. But, um, and then we could. Dry leaf will help us make the fire for it. Let's go ahead and at least set it up for it. I was playing around with the map maker for an old one I want to do with the Pathfinder campaign. I might actually be able to make maps. Really? Dude, that's cool. Are you back to the point where you're looking to create your own games or are you still just enjoying it with your friend with your other friends? <laughs> Expert badge. <laughs> Uh, Blue Dragon currently in the lead for tonight's expert badge. Well, I, I, I may have Meg or, or uh, Megabot um, beat more of this game, but Blue's memory, which baffles me on how he has such a good memory. Uh, I have literally done 100% of this game two or three times. Maybe four. Well, I did the Death Run version. I did this one twice and I did Spirits of Amazonia once and I'm actually on my second play of Spirits of Amazonia but Blue somehow just has better memory and I don't understand how he does it especially with some of the extracurriculars uh, but he does man Blue's got an awesome memory so, so technically Blue I have 100% of this game but what is frustrating to me is uh, so I've got 66 out of 68, right? And I have literally gone through and the last two that I don't have uh, this, I actually did and recorded it at the same time, get leeches, worms, rash, fever, poison, food, poisoning, parasites, insomnia, dirt, and any wound. I have done this three or four times and it does not it does not do it and then unlock 60 places on the map and that's the reason why I did it just randomly to do it again and for some reason it just won't unlock for me <sighs> running well I do have an adventure that I purchased that I will be running for the group and I want to add something to it just to be super evil oh, okay so you are still doing it with the other peeps okay well, maybe one day we'll be able to actually get a crew together because I'm in. It's just a matter of getting more people. Yeah, it won't do it. So I don't understand. And and I have pulled up the maps after I did the full game 100% and gone through and touched absolutely everywhere in the game that's possible to touch. And like all of the locations, everything. I've done it all and it won't unlock it still says i have 58 out of 60. so i don't know why it's not but it's not so uh and it's raining again so i think guys we need to just remove these and cook them we still have no water um oh now it's just spoiled it was hanging there but it's spoiled now. oh that is bull crap all right whatever it's all gone now all right whatever all right so i think with that in mind uh we need to get we we can just we can just go on through i guess um that's what i think we should do just go on through all right let's get as much of this as we can take And we will harvest this. Mm. 
Yeah, I get it, Blue. I get it. Uh, and getting people that will actually commit to doing, you know, every day or, you know, at once a week or once every two weeks, it's, it's hard because they're like, oh, I can't, I can't, you know, commit to doing it every time, but yeah, it is what it is. All right. So we're definitely going to need some stuff. Uh, we got blue. We got everything kind of down a little bit. I know you're thirsty, buddy, but before I go drink the nastiness we got to come over here and try to find some blue flowers literally no blue flowers oh my gosh what in the world Uh, yeah, yeah, Game Master. Dungeon Master, basically, Meg. I have just awkwardly the sleeper in... I don't know what that means, buddy. How are none of the bananas grown either? None of the bananas are grown out. This is a lot. I don't remember it being like this ridiculous. Um, okay. Sorry, my ad blocker thing popped up. Um, let's harvest this guy. Let's look for leeches. Uh, let's go ahead and cook him. God, I, could use a I know you could use a drink, but I don't have anything that you can ha you can take, buddy. Uh, I've already put the snail in there, didn't I? Uh, let's put the spider in there. I'll get you a drink. Just hold your horses, dude. <laughs> Guys, don't look. Don't look. Okay, you know what? I don't even care at this point. We can, um, we can just go through, get ready to go through at least to the next level. And then at least in the next level, we can go get the canteen. You know, um, yeah, everything will reset. Yeah, exactly. So, God, I'm so hungry. Whatever. Where is the armadillo? Do we not get anything for the armadillo anymore? Yes, I know you're thirsty, dude. Whatever, you'll just drink it. Disgusting. Yeah, oh. it's disgusting, but you know what? Mm -mm. <laughs> oh. Oh. Alright, we're full there. We still need fats and everything else, so... 
Uh, let's just get this so we can eat. Actually, it doesn't even matter, does it? Let's just come over here and do it. Let's do our psychedelic, guys. Um... I did hit it in the head first. All right, here we go. Time for the psychedelic. Hey, what are you doing here? Hey, wait. Wait up, buddy. Hey, kid, where are you? Where, where am I? Hello? Do you remember how we got here? Yeah, by boat. Mia? Is that you? Hello? Are you there? Hello, Starshine? First contact is always difficult. They're extremely weary. I, I don't remember anything. You, you were calling to me. I ran out of the tent and... They have to be. Civilization is killing. And we don't even realize it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it would have been better if I just died back then. Mia, I just want to touch I... you one more time. Just let me touch you one more time, Mia. I miss you so much. When the American colonization began, the conquistadores brought their diseases here with them. Many tribes were wiped out, and the rest moved even deeper into the jungle. Chief Ruini went on and on about whole generations of his ancestors being decimated, until they received a gift from the jungle. And me? Naively, I assured them about our good intentions. Alright, so now that she's done. Today, I reached the village. So far, I've had no success communicating with the Yavuaka. They treat me like I'm invisible. Which is still better than being chased away. I must earn their trust. Show them that I'm just like them. And this means giving up the luxuries of technology. We'll see how long I'll last eating nothing but bananas. Jake stayed at the camp. I'm worried about him. When he fell, he hurt himself pretty badly. I just wanted to wrap him up like a little baby and kiss his boo-boo. 
He says he's fine, but I could swear I heard hesitation in his voice. I hope it's only my imagination and everything's alright. I know he's a grown man, but he's so clumsy. In the jungle, you have to watch your every step. Even the tiniest scratch can be lethal if it gets infected. I don't even want to think about it. Yabawaka are finally starting to trust me. It's about time. I'm sick of sleeping at the edge of the village with the jungle looming behind my back. Now I can stay among the tribe's people almost all day. Many of them are still distrusting, but what's important is that I managed to gain favor with Chieftain Kwani. Thanks to his support, I will soon have my mission, my initiation ceremony. I'm excited, but at the same time a little scared. In theory, I know what to expect, but it's different to read about the ritual and actually taking part in it. I hope everything goes smoothly. I want to be one of them already. It will be wonderful to become part of this wonderful community. Plus, I will finally be able to bring Jake to the village I can't wait for him to join me and talk to the Yabawaka with me. I just wanna... I'm here! Hello? Jake? Please? I can't live without you. Leah, is it really you? What happened? Are you safe? I was hoping you could tell me that. You called me in the middle of the night, and I, I, I ran out to look for you, and all I remember is running and falling? Wait, you fell? That doesn't sound good. Okay, okay um, take it easy. Breathe. Do you know where you are? I... I, I have no idea. Give me some clue as to your whereabouts. A landmark or something. Oh, the village. Recently I found a tribal village. It's deserted though. Not sure why. Is it a large, round village? No. Rather small. Just a few huts. <sighs> Cariño, if it's not the main village, it could be anywhere. We never found all the campsites. Hey, hey, there has to be another way. I found a map. It's half burnt, but there's a location marked on it. Uh, Lambda 2. Not sure what it is. Do you? No, I don't think so. Can you get there? Well, I 
I will try. You tell me. Left me. Mia? I didn't leave you. In. You're breaking up. Without the. Oh, hope. Mia? Mia? Oh, fuck. Battery's dead. Okay. Alright, let's work on our way to the next location. Uh, Blue. <laughs> sorry, Mia. I drink too much Kool-Aid. I'm sorry. Hold on. No, it's up here. Alright. So, now we're going to be working our way into the second location. This is one of my favorite locations. Hello, Mia. You there? Jake? Oh my god, I'm freaking out here. Why did you go silent? What happened? Battery died. I had to charge it, and we can't talk long. Just tell me where you are. I'll find you somehow. Me? I told you. I'm safe. Let's focus on you, okay? Report everything. Okay. I'll always be here for you if you need to talk. Okay, will do. Over and out. I can't remember if these are good for us or not. Alright. So now we're going to start running out into this zone. Uh, the next location... Oh, about this hey, village. Yeah. About, okay, let's, about let's do a little bit of this. Yes, what about it? It's abandoned, but... I found a few burned items that couldn't have belonged to the tribe. These came from outside the jungle, it looks like. Are you certain we haven't been here before? The tribe fears our world, but they would never burn our things. They know we are not the enemy. You don't think that there's someone else here, do you? any of this just be careful if you see anyone okay Mia before you called uh, I drank ayahuasca it helped me remember our first days here when you went to the village what Jake don't ever do that again it's dangerous mm-hmm <laughs> you see under its influence is true but did you get to the village by boat yes and you did take part in the ritual that doesn't change anything I <laughs> I'm afraid of what you might see just come back to me please let's leave the past behind I'm trying to but I need to know what happened Mia. Mia? Alright. Now that we have that taken care of. Let's continue down this path down here. I don't necessarily remember exactly where we're going. But I think we're heading in the right direction. Yeah, we are. Look at it right there. Look at it right there. Right where we wanted to go. Nice. Mia, I found something. Some buildings. Buildings in the jungle. 
What kind of buildings? I don't know yet. Give me a moment. Did I get it? I got it. Okay, good. All right, so there is a problem with what I just did. First and foremost, I can't run. Oh, oh, I may just be overburdened. Yeah. Okay. I'm just overburdened. Okay. So we do have a few. Oh, looky. Alright, um, I think that we are now kind of, oh, yeah, 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 okay, so do I still have my maggots? I do. Oh, we can't put that on there, okay. What about tobacco? We can, we can put tobacco on there. Alright, so we have that. Um, actually, you know what, that was really stupid, Fox. Um... But I actually think it's okay because we now have this over here. All right, let's come up here and we can dump out a few rocks. We got a bunch of obsidian, which is really good. Um, take some food. Hopefully there's some medicine here. Another bone knife. We'll read that in a minute. Let's see if we can't find some medicine. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. We got a few things of medicine here. There we go. Oh, nice. Yeah, exactly, Blue. Exactly. That was my that that was my ultimate goal, literally. Let's just, uh, we'll be good later. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and save here. Um, this one here. Yep. Okay. So we got all our rocks there. Here's our water jug. There should be a pot. Yep. 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 All right. Nice. We have no room. Oh, oh, it did go in here. Okay, okay, good, good, good. I was worried this wasn't going to go in here. Uh, we're going to hold on to you. You're coming home with me. Uh, toss that down. Maybe it'll go in here now? Yeah, yeah, okay. Now, this is, as the first time me and Blue played this, this is my favorite place to be. This is my favorite location, especially if it has what I want here. If I can find, ha <laughs> ha Uh, actually let's, yeah, bow there. That on two, this on three. All right. Where's Lydia to carry it? <laughs> Who's Lydia? All right. Shred a bag of leaves with a mower. Pour acid and fertilizer, the blue bottle all over. Need. Put in barrels. Pour gasoline. Add sodium and the stuff in the bag with the CaCO3 on it. Lydia is the sworn to carry your burdens. Is she? I need to find Lydia then. Um, yeah, we're not going to go into how people make this stuff. Oh, I'm so glad we got this sword now. This, uh, this machete. All right. Um, so we could start making a big camp here. 
We could also start doing a I wonder if that would be an actual recipe. Yeah, I don't know, uh, but it wouldn't surprise me, you know, Blue? It really wouldn't surprise me uh, if it was. And they don't really have a whole lot of food and stuff here, do they? There's a letter. I, uh, Dearest Marcella. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Dearest Marcella, I apologize for writing so late, but we're working around the clock. I barely have time to grab something to eat or to get some shut eye. It's safer here in the jungle than in the big city. The heat is annoying though, and there are bugs everywhere. I'm bitten all over, but I'm not complaining. The money's good. I already have half of what we need. I met a guy, Raul, who promises to help us. He says he knows smugglers who ferry people by boats. It's supposed to be safer than going by land. I will have to pay him extra for getting me in touch with them. But don't worry, I'll take care of it. Soon, I'll be able to come back to you and take you away from this hell. Wait for me and take care of yourself. Yours, Tiago. Uh, not gonna Google that to find out. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't. <laughs> you definitely don't want to Google that, Blue. <laughs> no, no, no. You don't want to do that. Um. All right. I think. Um. <laughs> do you want to play with the snowman? Um. Which one is this? Uh, delivery of gasoline chemicals make 200 kilograms of per dope a day. Hmm. I still think we should be able to use the microwave. You know what I mean? Just microwave stuff up. All right. So now that we have all this, we can do a couple things. The first thing though, I think we should do is build we need to build something so let's go ahead and look at a there's a ton of bamboo here right isn't there bamboo here there is a bunch of bamboo okay so i think we'll start it with bamboo oh, there's a bunch of trees too though but you know whatever um let's go ahead and do this and we'll put this I don't know if I want it there. Maybe just out just a little bit. And then like over in this corner so we still have room to move around. Oh, yeah. That's a good idea. There it is. That's not it. Hold on. Hold on. There it is. Uh, do we have anything we can just put down? You know what? Let's, no, we can't put a toad in there. Uh, harvest. There you go. We'll get a lot more from that. So, uh, let's also go ahead and eat that, I suppose. Uh, why is our health? Oh, you know what? Bag of nuts. We need water. We need agua. Okay. On a positive note, we have agua. There we go. And we're a little dirty. So I don't know why our energy is so low. We might need to sleep. Don't really think this is the best place to wash ourselves. As you can see by looking at the color of the water. I think we should go ahead and do that. Let's uh let's possibly go ahead and sleep. 
And then wait till morning. No, damn it. Damn it. Oh, uh, whatever. You live to fight another day, you bastard. Yeah. I can't do anything about it, I guess, huh? That's okay. It'll be fine. I'll probably need tobacco leaves. All right. <clears throat> so let's go to sleep real fast. And then wake up in the morning and get to work building what we need. You gonna get me Skyrim? <clears throat> I have always wanted to play Skyrim. Thirsty. Yes, you thirsty now, huh? Now I go to sleep. This should be at 40% is at 30. That's so frustrating sometimes. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and get some. Is it on Game Pass? Nice. Audi, how about this? Because you like getting me games and stuff. And I do greatly appreciate it. Uh, how about you find me... I really want to get... A... I need another NVMe drive. Can you find a cheaper place... Stupid than it being... Shit so expensive like I, I i found so it's the 960 samsung is what i use i'd like to get another one but maybe you can find it cheaper so i can put a cheaper one on my wish list and we can do a fundraiser that way i can do a lot more of these game pass games and i can download more because i don't have the space to do a lot of this stuff you want to get four terabyte yeah i my, the one that I have is two terabyte. I think I want to go with a four terabyte next. I'm right there with you. Um, because I need, I need more, I need more space. I just don't have it. I don't have the space to do anything, uh, between, you know, all the videos I have that I need to edit and finish editing and everything else. It's like, you know, what else can I do? You know what I mean? I just, there, there's nothing else I can do. Uh, I'd love to download a lot more of them, but I just can't. I have the one on my wish list, but I really want to up it because the speed one will be this one, right? The one that I have now. Um, and that'll be for like emergent type stuff, but then everything else I can just, you know, do differently. Um, where's the lids to them? I guess I can we just do platform? Yeah, yeah, blue. I, I literally deleted probably uh probably five things that I'm working on. And I just deleted them because it had been a while since I played them where I, it's for me to like re edit and, and post. Um uh, it was like five of them, multiple long streams or, or gameplays. And I think right now I'm, I'm at like 89 gigs are available. And I try not, I try to keep it at like always have a hundred, but you know, there's only so much you can do. All right, which which one do the palm leaves? Okay. Because I'd like to be able to download these and just play multiple games. And I actually went and I got a whole bunch of those. 
Oh, crap. Palm leaves, not banana leaves, dummy. Um, the, what is it? The, the Steam DB or whatever it is. And what I wanted to do this year, Meg, if you remember, I was talking to you about it. I wanted to just do one game a, a day for like a 365 day challenge. One game a day of just some random free game on Steam and then do like a first look. And, you know, is it worth buying? Is it worth playing or whatever? And I, I just wanted to, that way we had some sort of videos and stuff like that being produced, you know? But I literally, I can't even download the games. You know, if it, I think in total I have like 70 or 80 games and like that I actually have that the community have been so generous in buying me uh, on Steam. Uh, but right now I have like 580 because I had to stop it because I just couldn't play them. But I had it, I had it downloading all of them. Uh, all right, so we have that now. Now for... All right, let's make ourselves a nice... Another nice... Fire, which is annoying because... But it has to be a good one. You know what I mean, Blue? Like, I like the Samsung. Does the Sam... I would assume the Samsung... Also makes a big one, right? Probably also makes a four terabyte. Ooh. Yeah. Samsung has done me good so far, but I would like to also, and, and I don't want to sound Oh, shit, now! Oh, damn it. Uh, I, I, I really like the AMD, and I like everything that I have, but there's so much better stuff out there with... So I would like to get a new motherboard, uh, update my motherboard, update my processor to go NVIDIA. I really would. Eventually. Not right now. I would just... I would like to do it. Uh, the sneaky little snakes, sneaky snakes. Uh, I don't know what else I can really do at this point. Cause I, I think I'm just screwed. Um, yeah. And we need, we need, um, You just upgrade to the 4080? Oh, Jesus, dude. I mean, I'm still running on what's, uh, what, what would it be, like a 2080? The one that I have? I mean, you know, you, you know which one I have, but. God, I could use a drink. Yes, yes, you can use a drink. All right, let's go get a drink real fast. And then potentially, potentially do, um, like use the AMD stuff for my, for like the stream PC. Or quite honestly, help somebody in need potentially 40 80 good golly how much are they running right now blue they're still running super expensive oh my gosh Well, not as much as they were, though, right? You're not looking at six, seven thousand. Okay, so a thousand—that's not bad. It's not too bad. 
Not like it was, you know? <clears throat> All right, I think we need one more big rock. There we go. I don't remember what resin is for, but I'm going to grab it anyways. You paid a hundred over that. Oh, gee, they're still, they still can't make supply. They still can't keep up with demand. Really? Jesus. I mean, at this point, I think it would be better for me just to do like a, a pre-built, get what I want and then part out the rest of the crap. Oh, make torches. Okay. Gotcha. 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 I never even remembered how to, what I needed it for. So how do I not have any small sticks? Oh, really? Gotcha. Oh, hell. Let's go. Let's go sleep. We've got no energy. these bad now some of them hold on there was still one good one in there oh that's annoying all right um But I don't think, honestly, that I have any. I got ash. No, so we gotta go find. We gotta go find some stuff. Thirsty. There was 30 hydration. That should have helped significantly. Oh, Jesus, that did not help at all, really. All right. What? Okay. Well, this didn't catch anything. That kind of sucks. All right, so we have to find some tobacco. And I don't mean the wacky tobacco. If you spot a palm tree with the brown leaves on it. Oh yeah, the heart the heart of uh the palm heart. God, I could use a drink. So 
what I was kind of actually when I saw the palm over there I was like double checking it and trying to see Here we go. No space? Really? We don't need those. All right. This will at least get us a little bit here. The the heart of palm seems to be a lot more abundant in the later game and in Sons of the Forest. Or Spirits of Amazonia. You know what? Let's go ahead and grab this. God, I'm thirsty. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. All right. No. Use. Bitch. There we go. Now let's go ahead and harvest this bad boy. So a couple of these up, y'all. And we're going to need these, but... Uh, we don't have, we need to find another coconut. So while those are cooking, let's run out here. We have caught something good. Yeah, I and I can appreciate that, Audi. I kind of want to stick with all the same stuff. And since I have the... Oh, Jesus. <sighs> since I already have the Samsung one... I think that's just what I would like to maintain, if you know what I mean. Um, I'm one of those people that think that when you buy, well, you know, I'm all, it's like Apple, you know, all the Apple stuff all works well together, you know. Um, another thing we could do, guys, that one thing I like to do is like up here because it's covered. Um, I like to add the dryer right here. And so now we just got to get some long sticks and stuff like that. Um, we need the thin ones. Uh, 
I'm just waiting for a, it, it. It's about time that the lion comes back, right? Or the puma or whatever is going to come after me. And from my understanding, if we don't break this, they will regrow. But I don't know if that's also the case in in this version, in hard mode. So we need three more. Freaking me out, man. Oh, this is just bamboo. Oh, it's so annoying. That might be a good one there, though. Let's go get this put on. And I don't remember where we get the... Small sticks. Of course it's small sticks. How many do we need? Eleven. One, two, three, four. Five, six. Seven, eight. Nine, ten. thing takes so freaking much but at the end of the day it'll be extremely beneficial because how do I not have another took the other one apart it just made no sense on why all right there we go we got three of those cooking or or you know harvesting whatever all right we still need to find some coconuts that way we can make a couple bidens but i'm thinking I would like to quickly work my way over to the to get the canteen. Uh, 
Oh, can we use an unknown mushroom? We can. Okay. We'll just use that one. There, that's going to take a couple days. So, uh, we also need to go wash ourselves. We got to wash it. Uh, and then we can make some more armor to go out into the wild. Maddie G, how you doing, buddy? So good to see you, man. What are you up to? All right. Um, how many more ropes do we have on us? We got two ropes on us, which means we can at least make one more. And we're going to throw that on the ground. We're going to look at our legs. Go ahead and put that on there. All right. Hold on. Why is the durability only 38%? Huh? That's kind of annoying. Uh, how are we doing on? All right, let's go ahead and put some wood in here. We'll harvest this up real fast. You're doing great. What about you? The in-laws just left. We had them over. That's so sweet. Feeding the in-laws. Oh, does it? Okay. Okay. Gotcha. I never realized that. <coughs> I, um, from what I can find, Samsung four terabyte NVMe, three nineteen. Jesus. Uh, that's a lot of money. So I guess I may have to do the two terabyte. I suppose. Which two terabytes better than no terabyte? I guess. I just, I really need to get more space, really badly. Harvest. Harvest. All right. So this should at least be okay for now. I'm kind of worried about going to get the canteen without having any food on me. And how do I have a leech on me already? Oh, uh, of course, of course. Oh, can can we burn the planks too? I didn't know. We'll be back in a bit. All right, Audi. Uh, hmm. All right, save. We are on day three currently. No extra food in there. Just the letter in there. Kind of disappointed it doesn't have more, more food and stuff around here, but I guess that is the situation that we deal with with hardcore mode, right? Um, hmm. Gee, let me think. Um, sure. And then as soon as we get done with this one, guys, we can actually jump straight into Spirits of Amazonia, which I'm really excited about.
What would we, what would we do with a wooden spoon? This just doesn't make sense to me. Can I bop somebody over the head with it? You know what's also weird is that we've been playing for how long now? And there have literally been no tribal people. None. Like none whatsoever. Uh, we could get some more ropes and you know what? That might be what we do. Let's go get some more ropes real fast. I say that like it's a bad, well, I mean, yeah, I guess so. I guess you right blue. You right. Shut up Fox. That's what I'm hearing. Wow, these things respawn quick. All right, so let's go ahead and craft this up. One, two, three, and one, two. All right. So this will at least give us, uh, hold on. Let's move these down here. These can go here. This can come over here. Although we don't really need torches. This can go here. And then let's go ahead and put that on this arm. Give us at least a little bit of protection, you know? Um, now I would like to, oh, you know what? Still don't have a daggone coconut though. We need some fats too. And we have nothing. I always eat a dart frog. Probably not recommended, but I'm just saying we could. Let's go down. There was that bush down here. Do you remember that little bush that had the weird things on there? And I think really the only way, wasn't it right here? I don't see it. Is there honey up there? There is. Honey dressing, the best dressing. All right. And actually that does really good stuff for us too, doesn't it? There we go. We got a little carbohydrates on us. Okay. So now we still need some fats. So we need to get some, we need to get some nuts in us. There's some nuts right there. All right, we are looking a little better now. Um, I'm thinking, and I know it's not necessarily always a good thing, but I wanted to kind of wait for at least a couple of these to finish up. Let's look to see if anything's done yet. I don't think so. Dad, gone. They're only like a quarter of the way. Ah. Oh. Mm. 
Why? Why? Another one triggered it. There we go. Let's see if we can't catch another one. And if we can, if we can catch another one real fast, we'll cook it. Real quick and we'll start heading out. What do you think? Maddie, have you ever seen this game? Did you, you played it? Did I really get, oh, you son of a gun. <laughs> did you play, you didn't play with me, did you? The panther is pretty amazing, though. You just gotta try to hit him in the face. Always, always carry a... Always carry a bow and hit him in the face. He's a one shot to the face. Those buildings I mentioned look like they're abandoned. Drug factory, maybe? A month or two ago? Oh, nice. Here? Are you sure there's no one in there? I remember you were dying in it, Meg. Well, it does look like it was used recently. Please be careful. Someone might return at any moment. They even have a microwave here. In the middle of the jungle? What for? Does it matter? They used it to dry out the drugs. It's uh, one of the steps in manufacturing narcotics. Right. Anything you can use? <laughs> what? I don't want to get high out in the middle of the jungle. Jake, I meant tools and such. <laughs> um, no. Too bad. I would guess armadillo armor is better than bone armor. Would I be right in assuming that? I would assume it would be right. We, we would all assume. Meg, you did. You killed him real well. All right, let's see if we have any more. Do we have any? Did we get another one? No, it just got triggered again, though. It didn't get triggered. Okay. Didn't I already put it on there? Oh, 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 whoops. Yeah, hey, hey, Blue, uh, good call, bud. Like, like you're paying attention. Like you're playing the game, Blue. Thanks, bud. <laughs> 
Okay. I got about 30 minutes before I can take my medicine again. All right. Let's get this food and let's get on the road, huh? It's almost done. It's almost done. All right. So then once we, uh, once we're done here, all right. Um, I think we will work our way over to the fishing hut, I suppose. Probably the best thing. Uh, yeah, Matty G, but what about bone armor? What's better, armadillo or bone? All right, let's go on a journey. We're going on a trip and our favorite rocket ship. So there's a couple things we can do here. We can either just continue just to follow this, which is always a good thing. Armadillo's better. Awesome. Uh, right now we kind of want to go west, I believe. Got him. You got a new control. How'd you get a new controller, Megabot? All right, we're super dirty. Hopefully it'll start raining soon. Uh, Armadillo's second best type of armor in the game. I love that sound. Second best armor in the game. We want to head west. So let's head west. It'll be down towards the ocean. There we go. And it's always good to have some extra. Did I pick it up? I did. Okay, good, good, good. All right. Uh, let's actually go ahead and make some tobacco dressing here. All right. Oh, I know. I'm not going to the Jeep right now. I'm going to the fishing hut to try to get the axe, the metal axe. That's the first place I want to go. Um, let's rinse off real fast and go kill some peeps. Do we want to kill them? Oh, they don't really have anything. Uh, there's no vortex mod loader support. No, you got to do it all by hand, man. I did it for years, Audi. Literally, I, I had my Mac Pro <coughs> and uh, and everything up until the community. Well, I had my iMac, and then I had my Mac Pro, and then I have a MacBook Pro. Uh, 
until the literally the community got tired of me not being able to play games basically and all, like blue and dragon and everyone was suggesting you need a pc you need a pc so we did a, a, a fundraiser and now i have a pc and although i love mac um it, it is so much better to have the pc for gaming it is just i mean blue was 100 percent right I love when you kill them. Look at their necks. They're like, hey, 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 guys, hey, guys. PC is the master race for gaming for sure. I mean, and really, I think what it comes down to more than anything is the fact that, um, that. Uh, it just it, it just doesn't no one develops games or anything for for mac they just don't i mean some of them do but it's really not not worth it and the support for the mac there's just too many there's too many people that that play on pc so why would they waste their time and efforts and energies you know doing the um doing Mac support when everyone plays on PC. It just makes sense. Although for editing and stuff like that, although I will say blue, um, like the, my, um, my my iMac for example is amazing at doing a lot of stuff but no questions asked when I first encoded a two three hour video with my PC you know that used to take 45 minutes to an hour on my Mac and on my PC a, a three hour freaking video uh, you know, it takes roughly, I don't know, 11, 12 minutes. So it's like, yeah, yeah, I, I, I think you're right. It's definitely cause, cause you know, I've always thought Mac is just better for that. Mac is better for, for, um, the, uh, the editing and, and everything else. And it's just, it really isn't. I used to think so though. Uh, I think Proton would help with that now, but they hadn't come out with that back then. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, Ethan? How you doing? Welcome in. What editing software do I use? Hey, Mia. Um, hold on. Doc, but it looks abandoned. Are you sure there's no one around? Yeah. Yes. I'm all by myself. Yeah, I know. Uh, I use Premiere Pro, Ethan. I, I didn't really get into DaVinci Resolve. Um, they even have logos on the packages. I just didn't like it. These guys aren't messing so, around. Uh, I'm, a, I'm an Adobe guy, operation. and since Adobe was on Mac, I can't believe when I switched over to PC, right it just made it easy to switch over and start using Premiere Pro on PC, too. I kind of like it. Every business operation needs a logo. I mean, even illegal ones like this. Jake, you're wasting the batteries. You just use a crossover? Nice. You don't think that the tribe attacked them, do you? It could be why this place is empty. The Debahuaca are not violent. If it was them, they must have been provoked. This place almost looks untouched. I mean, if they were at war, wouldn't they have burned it down? They would have never started a fire in the jungle. They consider it sacred. Right, right. Okay, over and out. 
I kind of just want to clear some of this crap out of my. Even found some cages. Someone was being held here. Out of my. Uh, Any idea who it was? Out of my dialogue box. Oh. Let me guess. Uh, an underperforming worker. What do you use, Ethan? It's not funny. I can't believe you feel like joking right now. <sighs> Maybe you're right. I'm just trying not to lose it. Relax. Okay. I'm here with you. So first of all, Mia, I'm stuck in the jungle by myself, and hey, this might sound humor weird, is the only thing keeping me I going. Found the road. Because you left me. What? Someone must have come through here recently. I'm going to check it out. Oh, great. Looking forward to some yeah. good news. Okay. Um, Mia, how are you feeling? It's been days. I'm just going to do a few Is of these and then okay? we're going to move on. Yeah, I'm, um, I'm a little dizzy. That's all. You're probably just tired. Why don't you get some rest? I just remembered that time... When we flew out for the weekend to the Bahamas, do you remember? Sure I do. How could I forget? We promised we'd go back there again. After all, we spend the whole visit in our hotel room and didn't really do much sightseeing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jake, we'll never go there again. Don't say that. Don't give up. Stay focused. Everything will be fine. You'll see. If you believe it, then so do I. Bye. Good. I'm glad you believe it, finally. Uh, hey, Meg, when we were playing, you know how I came? we came all the way out here to try to get that axe and the sword, or and the machete, and we couldn't find either? Literally, right where they were supposed to be in, in the hard mode. <laughs> it's so funny. All right, we got a four prong spear, um, which could be okay, but I thought there was a fishing pole out here. We did have a curse map. That's crazy. Um, we could cook up some meat out here. Actually, you know what? Let's do that. Let's cook up some meat. All right, I will check the dialogue here in just a minute. But for now, let's go ahead and make a fire. We'll just do, eh, I kind of want to do a big one, but you know what? We'll just have to cook two at a time. It'll be fine. Uh, we need six more. Four more, sorry. Uh, there is a fish trap to the right. Oh, there is, isn't there? You're right, Blue. See, Blue? See what I'm saying, man? I don't know how in the world your memory is so darn good. Let's go ahead and get rid of this leech. Oh. <laughs> but for some reason with video games, it lets it something that interests you. Yeah. I can appreciate that. Alright, do we have... Okay, we got a little bit of tobacco here. 
you know what meg just for you you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna make the stretchy stretchy i'm gonna put it in youtube but you gotta remind me because i'll forget but i'm gonna make it in here so you guys can use a command just a command and remind me Holy crap. I almost didn't get that. All right. Um, all right. Let's go ahead. This one is 15 hours, 13, 14. So these are 13 hours. Let's go ahead and cook this one up and this one up first. What is this one? 18. All right. Bow drill does use the stamina. Okay. Uh, so that one is... I believe, well, I'm hoping to get the foot one here soon. Uh, the foot one should be right up there, actually. Like, right up there. <clears throat> Not the hand drill. The bow drill. How do we make the bow drill? Um, plank. Small stick, rock, and bow. We actually have to make an, we have to put an actual bow in it. Oh, that sucks. Uh, it, and it may be the best free one, Audi, but it's not the best one. You know, the best one is is by far, in my opinion. Um, bows are easy to make. You're right. All right. Now let's get rid of that crap. We can get rid of that crap. Let's put the fire bow over here. Um, these are done. Boop, boop. And let's very, very, very quickly go find something to make another bow with because if I get attacked by a stupid thing right now, I'm going to be pissed. But Audi, you can also get, um, no, no, no. Oh, damn it. What am I doing? Um, so you say your kid is, is, you know, in school, you, you got a younger kid, um, sign up using your, your son's sign up using your son's school email address, or you, you can sign up with yours, but use you, like you said, when you go to purchase Adobe, do it as a student or you can do it as a teacher because you teach your kids right uh and you can get all of the entire creative cloud for like five six bucks a month so in my opinion that that makes it worthy to me I need to rest. oh there were more over there well i should have just looked i'm a dummy um
I have never had an issue with Adobe where it corrupted anything ever, ever. So. Alright, we at least have that there. Let's go ahead and cook up a few more pieces because they're going to go bad. And let's go ahead and grab some of these. And you know what? We'll grab those as well. Piranha. I'm a piranha. All right. I know I'm probably going to get eaten. So let's, let's save really fast. And then I think it is time for a quick potty break. Ugh. All right. I'll just wait right here, guys. I'll be right back. Don't go nowhere. I'm back. Sorry, guys. And Meg, I stood up and I got a stretch in, okay? Ugh. Ugh. All right, here we go. Do we have any more meat? Nothing, nothing else really that we can eat. All right. And I believe we can eat these mushrooms, right? Blue, do you remember if we can eat these ones? <laughs> All the birds swoop in and eat me. Oh, come on. Uh, we're not going to eat them right now. We're just going to go travel. All right. You can? Okay. Oh, thank goodness. All right. So we've got energy, we've got everything we need. Now we need to cross. Let's go ahead and grab some more water. We'll take that. In that Amarillo, Armadillo sky. All right, so now, there's a lot of toads. The only one? Okay, so like the spider one? That's the only one we can't eat? Alright, so now we need to kind of go... Oh, crap. I need fats. I need some nuts. I need some nuts pretty bad. 
Yeah, the lace covered ones. Yeah, what are they called? The spider mushroom or something? No, not D's. Not D's, buddy. <laughs> I, I've been waiting every time I said nuts. I was just waiting for someone to say something. So thank you for not letting me down. Jeez, chat. I did know it was coming. Yes, I did. I, I'm su I, honestly 100% surprised that it took so long. Alright, so... Yes, yes I did. And I got the fish. I got the piranha. Um, hmm. Let's go this way. And we should run into a... Um, there's another tortoise. We'll just keep heading this direction and we need to find some nuts because we need some fats oh nice thank you thank you thank you thanks for dropping your nuts oh there's a click armor oh no there's not I did not remember that. Well, I found a boat, but it's damaged and it won't float. Looks like someone did it on purpose. Who could have done it? I did not remember that, Blue. And I think I you know. reminded Let's me last time I, uh, on I Twitch. Be here anyway. Yeah, my whole life, Blue. My whole life I've been dealing with this and you just now come into my life? What the hell, buddy? Um Yeah, I think you did too. You're like just hide, just do the hide thing and I was like, "What hide thing?" And you're like, "You see that?" Yeah, I I'm pretty sure that looks like really clean water, doesn't it? I still haven't found a heart of palm either.
unsafe. Okay. Let's still watch ourselves. I am near. I am near the, uh, yeah, it's the blue water. Blue water for blue dragon. Um. Forty-eight, sixteen. All right, so we kind of just want to head straight east, I believe. Thank you for the follow or whoever that was, because I don't know what that is. Okay. Uh oh. I'm out of here. was so high it didn't happen but it didn't happen I haven't even been there yet I like setting up camp look guys nothing happened I didn't get wrecked. Look, look, I'm fine. I just need to make my way over this way and, you know, clearly make some more arrows. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Clearly make some more arrows. Clearly make some more. Hey, the frog color did change. What the heck? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's any of them now. It's any color now, blue. It just has to be a dart frog. Yeah, it's no longer just the red ones, yeah. You can use any of them. Let's go. That is a huge plus. Yeah. I mean, there was a red one back there too. I could have just grabbed it, but it is ridiculous. It changed it. In my honest opinion, in my most humblest of opinions. I 
can't believe I ran out of friggin' arrows, man. Hmm. At this point, let's just follow the Jeep. tracks go Did they go up the hill I have not found any Brazil nuts at all. I guess they don't want me fishing. Right back to the same damn spot. What the heck, Fox? Um, all right, so where are we right now? We are, uh, 4419, where was? Let's head this way. Finally. Is that it? It's over by here because that's the that's the tarp. Jesus. What in the world? <laughs> yeah, I kind of figured it was going to happen too, but... Yeah, no. Is that it down there? That might be it down there. Yeah, that's it. That's it. All right, we found it. All right. Yes, 
might come in handy. That's definitely going to come in handy. There's a Jeep here. Who knows what else I can find. All right, so um, that's empty. Of course it is. Uh, what do we need? We need some fats. So that's not going to give us fats. Candy bar won't give us fats. No. All right. So many dangers. Megan, it is. It is a lot of dangers. I'm still, I'm still no death. Still no death run, so, you know, it's all good. Right, guys? They can't kill This game can't kill me. All right. What do you mean I could have done? I did. I did so far, Meg. What are you talking about? Yeah, we're already here. We might as well just go to the mine, don't you think? Um. I bought a game and played it for hours, and the first time I died was when I learned it was permit. Oh my gosh. Which one was that? <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Blue, I've, I've, I've hundred percented except for the the long dart. I've never heard of that one. Uh, I've hundred percented it except for those uh, the two, the one that you have to have like all eleven ailments, and then. The one where you visit all 60 locations, and I've literally visited all 60 locations, counted at least twice, and then, um... And, uh... And I've done the ailments twice, and it, it won't register for me, so... <laughs> so I don't know what's going on. I don't, I don't know why it won't give me the 100%. It's quite annoying, though. <laughs> oh, did you, Meg? Nice. This seems totally safe. This seems totally safe. A rickety elevator in the middle of the woods run by gasoline that I got from a turned over Jeep. All right, so the real question at this point is What are we gonna find? And there should be a heart of palm or like two of them down here, I believe in total. One is in the back right corner, I think. Give me them nuts. Hopefully we'll get a little bit more painkillers in here. And a bag of gold. All right, let's. You're not going to believe what I just found. A city made of gold. Kind of. What? No, no, it's a Jeep. Well, it's not running anymore, but, you know, there's some useful stuff in it. So 
that's good news, right? I think so. There's one thing that bothers me, though. I found something that looks like a listening device connected to the walkie-talkie. Crazy, right? That's not good. Do you think someone might be listening to us? Maybe. It would only make sense. Uh, I don't know. This isn't the first strange thing I've found in the jungle, you know. Okay. Fair enough. All right. Sorry, guys. I'm taking my medicine. Lightyear Frontiers. Looks like a game. Hmm. It's on Game Pass, huh? All right. There we go. We got the grappling hook. Team one, Rafael Bueno de Campos, $30. Norberto Barroso, $30. Luisa Hamada, $25. Eloa Henriquez Lopez, $25. Edison Nunes, sick. Team two, Gilmar Guara Cordero. And we're not going to go through all these. Um. Another note, cooking, or cranking up the quota, 75 bucks per head. Okay. Let's go ahead and save. There's our pack of gold. Empty can, a note. This is Tango. I met with the tribe. I am now at the circle. It's in the blood, children. The children are the key. Do not, do you copy? Interference? What? The children are the key? This is Tango. I met with the tribe. I am now at the circle. It's in the blood. Children. The children are the key. Do you copy? Hmm. We will look more into that in a bit. Nothing in there. Oh, hard mode is pain. Uh, what does it say? Uh, Arnando, big guy. Tulo, old man. Uh, Arraso, ponytail, Carmilla, redhead. Carla, bow legs. <laughs> Red beard, a sunny boy, baldy, muscles, women, American. Kid, tattoo, small boobs, hot chick, skinny blonde, tall black, and spotty mug. That's messed up. Oh, the first aid? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I didn't. Did I miss the first aid? I thought it was over in this one. Hey, Blue, if you didn't know, if you're looking for like marks or something like that you can do this right here it's show armor or remove armor and you can do it this way that way you don't have to remove the armor in order to check leeches i don't know if you knew that or not so yeah but anything i can do to help Oh, here it is. Uh, it wasn't even worth looking at. Okay, so where we are... So go ahead and eat a little bit. And let's take a nap. Ooh, got some orange juice. That'll come in handy. And just a bunch of empty cans. All right.
Alright. It's still nighttime, which kind of sucks. Nothing in any of these. This blows. Um, alright. So. Now that we have the grappling hook. <laughs> Let's come look up top up here. Because there should be a heart of palm up here. Is it? Oh, fuck. Oh, my goodness, guys. Look at all the dead bodies. Note. All right. Day one, two guards changing regularly. Pistols and machine guns. Old padlocks. Around 20 people in cages. Sophia and Teresa are together, but I can't reach them. The padlock won't open. Change tactics required. They are taking people somewhere. Isabel says they are experimenting with them. Evidence, metal equipment, presence of natives. There are sick people in the camp, potentially a uh, epitome outbreak. Uh... The sick are being controlled. Proof are being experimented on. Reek of dead bodies burning. Animated conversations. Uh, will they take someone from the group? Day five. They are preparing experiments. Failed escaped attempt. Swollen eye makes it difficult to assess the situation, but we don't have time. Day six. They injected me with something I threw up. Isabel says it was a blood transfusion. She's running a fever. They put us in a cage together. I don't know what's happening to my girls. I need to find Teresa. Isabel is getting worse. The guard in the blue t-shirt is the key. It's getting deep, guys. It's getting deep. Um. Well, I found a boat, but it's damaged and it won't float. Looks like someone did it on purpose. Who could have done it? I don't know. Let's keep it that way. I shouldn't be here anyway. Mia, you're not gonna believe this. Looks like I found an illegal gold mine. The jungle is full of surprises. Anything of interest there? I'll let you know. I, I just found a charred corpse. That's horrible. With every update, I get more and more worried about you. I need you here, please. I don't... I don't know how much longer I can take it. Mia, yeah, I'm doing my best. Just... just give me some more time, okay? Just a bit longer. Alright, so the Heart of Palm is clearly... not up here like it normally is. Um... Alright. So let's sleep again until daytime and then we'll start heading out. We could start moving on a bit. Let's do that. All right, um, mm. all 
Why is my health going down? I need some water. But I think I think from here Hmm. Well, you know what we could do, guys? While it's raining, we could kind of hang out here. Oh, no! Damn it. We have no water. We have no water because when I reloaded, I didn't take the... The tortoise shell with me. I, I, I made a dum dum. I made a dum dum move. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, so now we got to figure this out. We can always go back to Blue's Pond. Or try to find another tortoise. Well, there are tortoises down by that pond. It's been a while since we've been attacked by a cougar, too. I know you're thirsty. Well, put your head up to the sky. Just drink. Drink, you idiot. That should have given us some water. Come on. Um. So. You know what? Let's just go straight south. Oh, hold on. Do we still have that? We do. Okay, good, good, good. All right, that gave us a little bit of water. Okay. Let's keep an eye out for another palm. Oh, literally, like, right there? Slippery snake. Snakes everywhere over here, isn't there? <sighs> Whew, 
I knew there was going to be another one. I knew there was going to be another one soon. Oh, jeez, that's freaky. Needs to start raining. Ooh. Hey, Mia. I think I found a crash plane. Really? How how big is it? Oh my God! Any corpses inside? Nope, nope. Don't tell me. Is there a flight number? Eight one five. How long ago did it crash? Do you have any idea what happened to it? Jake? Jake? Hang on, hang on. What? Sorry. I was just taking it all in. It looks like it was rather small. Just a few seats, but pretty new. Mm. Doesn't seem like it's been here long. Oh, thank God. Yeah, this wasn't an accident. <coughs> it was shot down. Shit. I don't want to repeat myself, but please... Be careful. Be careful. Whoever did it must have already scavenged everything that they could. All right, let's go ahead and drink. Drink. Um, and we'll craft. We only have one rope, really. All right, so we can at least get two Bidens here. Um, got some charcoal down here too. What is causing me to be too, so heavy? Uh, probably the big cat meat um, and or the sack of gold potentially, but uh, I think we're good if we just remove that. Here's some water. Let's go ahead and rinse me off. Uh, throw that down. Go ahead and get these things filled up a bit. Eat. Eat. And we'll throw these down as well. There we go. Let's that let let that work up real fast. Let's try to get some rope. Uh, of course, there's no rope over here. Like literally no rope anywhere. It's like it knows what I need and it's just refusing to give it to me. Hmm. How did I get a parasite? Huh? <clears throat> um, all right. Either way, it's a little bit of water. There's no oh a couple of obsidian might not be bad to have. I think we're good on these. Let's go ahead and get rid of those. That'll bring us down pretty substantially. 
Uh, we could get a little bit of rest, but I say from here, let's just try. Well, we could just move on and go to the next location or we can go back to base. What do you guys want to do? Yeah, but we can move on to the next location is what I'm saying. We're kind of in that zone where we could, you know. But I do have three parasites on me. Which I won't hear in just a second. And there's a Brazil nut. About time. And I need that. And I need these. Okay, we have everything we need to move on. You gotta go. All right, Audi, thanks for hanging out, bud. I really appreciate you. Appreciate you hanging out tonight and being here as always, bud. Whoa, look at the monkey heads. Thank you. I appreciate you keeping me on in the background, Blue. Thank you, man. Here's the grapple. No problem, big dog. I just appreciate you being here. Good to see you in chat again. All right. Um, yee. Yee. I think we should go back to base, fill up our water, fill up everything we need. See if we can't get that dried out meat that we had drying. And then go move on to the next location. What do you think?
All right. So this is the part like right after we took the first ayahuasca. When we came through and headed like straight to the the drug facility. So that's basically what we're doing again right here. We're going to go straight over to the drug facility. But I am curious a little bit. <clears throat> so the drug facility or the normal drug facility, right? Right. <sighs> We gotta go this way. I told you there was a, a tree here. It disappeared a minute ago and it came back. All right. So now let's go ahead and take our Biden. 60 of a hundred. Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, I'm not really worried about any of these then. And realistically, I'm not really worried. Well, we can hold on to two of them, I suppose. Uh, we don't really need any charcoal for this run. Don't really need campfire ash at all either. Obsidian's important. We're going to need these. A couple stones doesn't hurt to have. Tobacco flowers don't matter. You matter. Okay. Trying to do a little bit of inventory management, if you know what I mean, guys. Um, we could also... This doesn't spoil, does it? Yeah, dried, 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 dried. Okay, great. All right, it's starting to get dark outside. So let's go ahead and sleep until morning. Oh, uh, hold on. We have something on us. There we go. And I don't know again why our health is so darn low. Um, but There we go. We'll get a little bit more water in there. Yeah, there's no reason our health is going down when we're sleeping. That just doesn't make sense to me. Uh, let's go ahead and fill this up. That should be at 90 now, which is really good. Um, and then we could go ahead and take these. This would be a good spot to take these. Uh, of course it's too heavy. All right. 
and it immediately I don't really need the gold sack so that doesn't really take anything out of my inventory at all it's like less than a pound um how much is obsidian it's not much either so is it really just these yeah those are two pounds each Okay, whatever. All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and fill this up. That should be that's a ninety-four. Jeez, Louise. And I don't think we're going to be able to take that, but I think we should. Let's dump that out. We'll get more obsidian later. I'm not really too concerned about it. Um. Uh, Okay. All right. So with that said, let's head back. How is the honey guys back again? Those bees are relentless. And we need some more small sticks. So on our way. We see some logs, logs on the ground. Let's just kind of break them up and get some small sticks. Actually, you know what? I think we probably have enough. We have 10. So let's just harvest a few of these. I think we need six in total. So there we go. There's six. More bees there. There's a lot of bees over here. More bees here. Jeez Louise. I don't think I've ever seen so many bees in this game. from here we just got to go back up to that grappling area and give me just a second I'm gonna go ahead and close TikTok because it's just wait useless There we go. Now I'll bring YouTube over channel. Nice. Now we're good. Now we're good. All right. Doesn't hurt us to have eat as much as possible.
Oh, there it is. Nice. for them scorpions though there he is we're not gonna kill him if we don't have to you know uh, all right let's go ahead and harvest a few of these um and let's get rid of that let's check our body real quick There we go. Now from here, we want to kind of just keep heading this way. If I'm recalling correctly. All right. If we come back by the plane, then we just want to head north. We just want to keep following the, the place around. There's the plane over there. Okay. Yeah, look at the plane up top. You see it? All right. Now we're going to come this way. And kind of just follow straight along. And if y'all remember, like, there's an area up there. I believe that's where we need to be. So we need to kind of just walk around and up it. Whoa, that's a big old mammoth freaking spider. Another coconut. While we're here, let's go ahead and break it and drink it. Uh, you know, we'll harvest it, we'll eat it, and then we'll get rid of it. How about that? There we go. Should run into a base. Hmm. 
Is this not where we go? Hmm, okay. This must be the next part. So let's go back down. So if this is this part, then the other part is where we just came from. There's Blue's Pond. All right, let's go back over where the plane was. Oh, no. should be right over here we'll get an hour or two of sleep real fast at least get a little bit of health up underneath us all right at least it gives us a little bit more a little bit more you know now let's go find that cave again Golly, you stupid freaking thing. I wasn't even near you, you piece of crap. Damn it. Now I'm going to be running out of water. Oh. Where's that cave entrance? There it is, almost missed it. No, he's still over there. We're good with that. So now that we're on this side, we'll want to go this way, I think. Okay. 
drink. Yes, you can use a drink. All right, fine. All right, I'll give you some water. And just so we have it. It's not good, but two parasites in it, which we could. Mm -mm. There you go. Let's go ahead and drink it. How well did that fill us up? It filled us up almost all the way. How many do we have? We got one, two, three. Okay. I'm a, I, you know what? We should be fine. We should be fine. Let's go ahead and eat and eat. All right, we are good. Good to go, guys. No issues over here, huh? Let's go ahead and fill that back up. All right, so. I believe we got to get over there. There is a cave there. You know, let's go over to the cave real fast just to unlock it. Yeah, this is just a mine. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Where we want to go is right over here. And another heart of palm. guys and we should have everything everything we need no we don't have uh we need some uh you know it might be up top let's just go look there might be a tobacco plant up there How are you thirsty again, dude? Come on, man. Can we harvest this? I'm curious. We can. Need to rest. It doesn't really give us what we want, does it? Um, hmm. Oh, it does kind of nice. It's like they're waiting for us. Looky, we got our fibers, an obsidian blade, which I will take. Over the bone knife. Uh, water lilies. I don't know what I could, what, what do water lilies do for us? Effects unknown. I don't know. I don't know what it does to us. Uh, either way though, let's, um, go ahead and make our fire. I had six. What what's the problem here, buddy? Oh, I won't be able to. Oh my gosh, you know what? Um Thirsty. How do I just go to sleep? Yeah, I'm just gonna pass out. Let it pass out. That's fine. Oh, this still isn't going to be enough, is it? It's not going to be enough energy. Oh, poop on a stick. Uh, maybe with the fire bow, we'll give it a try. Um. Bitch. 
Holy crap. We did it. Come here, boy. <laughs> Megan, wasn't this your favorite one? Good golly, look at this. The hospital room. Funkia, also known as hosta, is a herbaceous plant with heart-shaped green leaves with bright edges and small pendulous flowers, white or violet. At least that's what the Funkia used by the Indians from South America look like. Its numerous varieties vary in height, coloring, and shape of leaves, which can be long or round. This shape to or this shade tolerant easy to maintain plant is cultivated in many different countries around the world usually for ornamental purposes in asia people eat its young leaves and sprouts in rainforests full of venomous snakes and toxic frogs the visual value of this species comes second the most important are its medicinal properties which come from a chemical compound called saponins. Saponins, saponins have anti-inflammatory, antifungal, and antiviral properties. Really? They make funky poisonous to cats and dogs, but to humans, especially those living in the middle of the jungle with no access to modern medicine, they can be a real lifesaver. So we have to remember when we get bites or anything like that to take this <laughs> a bandage made out of these leaves work great for an ant bite or a bee sting the substance found in plants can smooth irritation or rash in the event of a snake attack one should consume cooked leaves and sprouts as soon as possible the brew will effectively fight the effect of venom of course, Funkia can also be eaten simply to satisfy hunger. The versatility of Funkia is funky. It makes it one of the most popular plants among the Indians living in the Amazon forest. It is pretty, you're right. Among the many treasures of Amazonian mushrooms deserve special recognition. They are an important source of nutrition for both animals and people alike provided that one can identify the edible ones. A mistake can lead to lethal poisoning, but it's not easy to distinguish the unusual shapes and vibrant colors of South American fungi. Let's start with indigo blue. 
a layman could easily could be easily scared off by its intense blue color after which it takes its name in the natural world such colors are often warnings don't touch me don't eat me yet the native peoples of south america are eager to eat them indigo blue is one of the fungi that are easily easy to identify young fresh specimen have beautiful blue caps which become gray with age once smashed it secretes latex which is also blue marks left by the fractures or breakage have a greenish hue they are not suitable for drying and are best eaten raw they can taste a little bitter and aren't considered a delicacy the species became popular among natives for different reasons it's a natural anti-parasitic medicine in the jungle it's not always easy to follow the basic rules of hygiene and sometimes it's downright impossible eggs of parasites can be found in unwashed fruits and hands and even the water one must carefully choose what to drink and where to bathe substances found in indigo blue serve as an amazing natural anti-parasitic cleansing the body of unwanted guests yes blue i'm just trying to trying to get you back in chat buddy the shaman can also put the participants of the ritual into a trance which allow them to contact the spirits of their ancestors and magical beings who offer advice and serve as spiritual guides sometimes the blue or the brew <laughs> the blue <laughs> sometimes the brew also gives the ability to see the future or tap into a collective memory of an entire tribe or even humanity some gain memories of their past selves this way vomiting and diarrhea are both important elements of the ceremony inducing uh, induced by digesting the brew they are supposed to cleanse the body of negative energy and emotions and quite literally expel them from their system this may seem unpleasant but both vomiting and diarrhea have an important medicinal effect for people living in the tropical jungle as they help clean the body of many dangerous parasites harmine and harmelian are practically lethal to these organisms although ayahuasca is mainly seen as a religious ritual it's worth it to consider its medicinal use only recently has western medicine started to appreciate ayahuasca the first conducted study showed that it is it can significantly help patients suffering from treatment resistant depression anxiety and trauma the effects of the brew on the memory is truly fascinating patients suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder or ptsd often experience amnesia as they push the traumatic memories into their subconscious and aren't able to recall them those given ayahuasca not only reported regaining those lost memories but also stopped experiencing fear and got rid of panic attacks this is probably due to the fact that ayahuasca activates the areas of the brain responsible for memory and emotional reactions it enhances the neuroplasticity of the brain in the process of a neurogenesis and triggers dopaminogenic neurotransmissions these processes in turn lead to recovering the memories and memory consolidation in the case of trauma they additionally reprogram the emotional reaction and alleviate fear the memory itself is intact but the negative emotions associated with it are removed it is true that the members of the yabawaska <laughs> who take ayahuasca exhibit good spirits calmness and stability they are better at social interactions and have excellent memory and concentration yabahuska i don't know why i mix the two words together but um do y'all want me to continue to read all of these things y'all let me know chapter three rituals religious rituals and healing ceremonies of the yabo 
Yabuaka tribe can't go without the hallucinogenic brew called ayahuasca, which means the Yana of the souls and Quisha. It's also made out of vine, more specifically the Kapi, which contains hermine and hormalin. These substances alone have hallucinogenic properties, but to access the full power of the ayahuasca, other ingredients are added. Another vine. Cabranana. Whatever. Uh, with an equally high amount of psychedelics leaves the... I think we've read this one before. Uh, details not, notwithstanding, the basis of the brew is always the capivine. First, it is to be cleaned and softened by pounding with wooden mallets until the fibers main, remain. Plant material acquired this way is then pulled in a small cold, poured into a small, put into a small cauldron of water and boiled over fire. In the meantime, brews made out of other ingredients are prepared, with each in a separate pot. Next, all brews are placed in one pot and boiled again until most of the water completely evaporates. The preparation of the brew normally takes all day, and the ceremony during which it is taken lasts all night. Ayahuasca is to be taken only in the presence of a shaman who also serves as a guide. The effects of the psychedelic substance usually last several hours. In that time, the participants of the ceremony experience a spiritual revelation. Amazing visions show them the purpose and true nature of the cosmos and the reason for their existence. Many of whom have taken ayahuasca say, or many of who have taken ayahuasca say they experience a complete transformation and they intend to use the acquired secret knowledge to become a new, better human being. Few people have had a bad reaction to the psychedelics and suffer from nightmares or even hellish visions. For most, it's a way to go through a deep religious experience and get closer to the mysteries of nature. Really, Meg? Honestly, <laughs> Meg said, anytime I've been somewhere with this much pot and brew, it's been a great time. <laughs> um, all right. What am I missing? I'm missing something. I can't remember what. Oh, oh, right there. I just looked over it and I didn't see it. I guess because it's white. For the chapter on natural medicine, fungus found in the caves in the jungle one can find. The fungus used by the natives in their ritual can be found in the darkened corridors of caves and has the following properties. A little studied spe species of fungus. It likes the cold and dark climates of the caves. Doesn't grow outside of the Amazonia. Its effects, should I write about this? To do distribution, characteristics, how natives consume it, effects on people. Talk about it more with Mia. The flora found in caves varies depending upon the access to light. Most species are found next to cracks and crevices within unobstructed reach of sunlight. Deeper in the cave, the light becomes dispersed and ferns and mosses are able to make use of it. And in the deepest, darkest corners of the caves, only fungi and bacteria can live. They feed on organic remains such as bats, fe bat feces, dead insects and plant remains. What about this introduction? A completely new species? Does it have a name? I have to research. I have to have a comparison. Mm. 
so the book was quite good but people aren't interested in lost tribes deforestation or global warming we don't think about such things until it's too late Spirits of Amazonia by Jake Higgins. A journey to the heart of the jungle. In his latest book, Dr. Jake Higgins takes the readers on a fascinating journey into the tropical forest of South America, far away from technolo technological pro progress, modern medicine, and the comforts of civilization. He found the lost tribe of the Yabawaka. Although this primitive people lives exactly the way their ancestors did hundreds of years ago, its members are in great health and shape and can boast high immunity to all kinds of sicknesses. Cut off from the world, the Yabawaka created their own unique culture in which harsh conditions of life in the jungle interweave with deep spirituality. Learn about their unusual customs and social structure. Read about the local delicacies and marvel at the legends passed down over many generations. Discover the secrets whispered to the natives by their dead relatives during rituals that are not practiced anywhere else in the world. Can a modern man leave behind the comforts of civilization and start living in harmony with nature? Learn how to survive in extreme conditions, what to eat, what to avoid, how to treat a snake bite and prevent diseases. Find your primitive instinct and follow the trail of the Yabawaka. Who knows where this journey may take you. Payment request. Following your failure to pay the amount of 70,000 USD owed on the loan you raised, I am requesting that you pay the aforementioned amount within 30 days of receipt of this request. If the outstanding amount is not paid within the prescribed period, interest will be charged and a case will be brought to court for which you will be charged with the cost of the court proceedings. Kind regards. M. Kamek. Another invoice. Patient Mia Higgins. Main insurance. Happiest health insurance. Additional insurance, none. Bill for hospital stay and treatment. Description and amount. Pharmacy, 12,120. Room and nursing care, 31,250. Medical and surgical, 28,000. Laboratory test, 12,000. Radiology, 16,000. Recovery room, 2,500. Endoscopy, 22,650. CT scans, 2,500. MRI, 5,111. Education and consultation, $311.44. Operating room, $36,000. Anesthesia, $20.20. Blood bank, 2,500. Hospital facilities, 18,2. Psychotherapy, 354.15. Radiotherapy, 10,689. Occupational therapy, $347. Total cost, $200,288.64 United States dollars. Dear Dr. Higgins, since I didn't receive any response from you on my previous letter, I have allowed myself to write to you again. As mentioned in the previous letter, Amulacorp is interested in several hypotheses proposed in your book. Namely, you suggest that the natives have access to ex exponentially efficient medicinal substances. But unfortunately, you do not share the details. Should you provide us with these specifics, Amolucorp 
is willing to invest a substantial amount of money to study these substances. I understand that you may be hesitant about this collaboration, but please consider how many people your discovery could help. We would be able to, with your help, save patients who currently have no chance of survival. You are in a difficult situation yourself. Therefore, you should understand the worth of at least trying to find a solution. We can help each other and save many lives. On behalf of Amulu Corp, I would like to propose a meeting, preferably at the head office of our company. Should you agree to consult with us on this matter? The company shall cover all your traveling expenses. I believe we could all benefit from this collaboration. CEO Amula Corp, Professor K. Kwaktakapaka, PhD. They only mm. care about themselves until tragedy strikes. People just don't care. It wasn't any different this time. No one took an interest in them. Unless there was some money to be made. Mm -mm -mm. Guys, look. Look! That's the cure. That's literally the cure right there. Dr. Higgins, I have read your book and I am mortified to say that no self-respecting scientist would ever write something like this. There are few communities left in the world that develop far away from the so-called benefits of technology. Living in harmony with nature and following old traditions. They have every right to go their own way. Because of you, the Yabawaka have now lost this opportunity. Now, they will be bombarded with attention from scientists, journalists, or corporations aiming for financial gain. Their culture will become contaminated, and we cannot even estimate the level to which their natural path of development and way of life will be disrupted. I find it obvious that you too have no respect whatsoever for their emotional cult or the exceptional culture, and you are simply taking advantage of the Yabawaka to win fame and fortune. What is worse, you are encouraging others to do the same. The tribe is slowly becoming something between a natural curiosity and the latest fad of pop medicine. This is disgusting and you should be ashamed of what you have done to these people. Subsequent expeditions and disturbances will bring more harm than good to the tribe. I am warning you Leave the Yabawaka tribe alone, or you may face grave consequences. I offer no regards. Agnes Debransky X. So people are both happy, I suppose, and extremely sad about what's going on here. Very curious. Very, very curious. You think I'm selfish just like everyone else, don't you? Maybe you're right. Maybe I should have just given up. What happened? Why are you here? I know what drove us. But it doesn't justify anything. If not for me, you wouldn't have to go back to the jungle. My dear Mia, I love you so much. A mediocre book only for enthusiasts. Here is one of the greatest challenges of medicine. How to ensure 
The aging societies remain in good health. Our lives are getting longer, but the older we get, the more vulnerable we become to various ailments and sicknesses. In this book, The Spirits of Amazonia, Jake Higgins attempts to entice the readers with a story about natives who allegedly never get sick. However, those who have brought the book hoping for a recipe for a magical remedy are in for a bitter, bitter disappointment. Until recently, the Yabawaka tribe lived in complete isolation. Jake Higgins was the first to find them and supposedly learn their secrets. If that's the case, he isn't sharing them in his book. Instead, Higgins is skirting around the subject. Every several pages assuring us with great vigor of the unusual immunity of the Yabawaka. But failing to provide any details, he entices us with descriptions of herbs and fungi and eventually turn out not to have any unusual properties. Or he presents ritual medicine procedure, med medicinal procedure, or he presents ritual medicinal procedures that to a reader with access to modern medicine seem to be bringing more harm than good. It's hard to say whether the author wasn't able to put his thoughts on paper in an efficient manner or failed to encourage the natives to reveal the truth. Or if this whole eternal health hype was simply a cheap marketing trick. We already know what's not in the book. So what is mostly descriptions of the everyday life of the native inhabitants inhabiting the jungle? who have no electricity or internet access and use primitive tools. While clearly interesting, their customs, culture, and religion are not as shockingly different from the ways others and other similar tribes as to justify calling Higgins' expedition a revolutionary event. One might feel compelled to ask whether it was worth it to disrupt the peace of these people only to write a book with so little to offer. The book can, therefore, be recommended only to those passionate about the culture of South American indigenous peoples and enthusiasts of long lost civilizations. Without a doubt, the customs of natives cut off from modern technology can be fascinating to enthusiasts. The rest of the readers are in for a disappointment. All right. Medical history report, uh, malignant tumor of the left lung. Uh, metastatic change in the upper right lung, uh, metastatic change in the lymph nodes located near the tracheal uh, bifurcation, underlying disease and complications, persistent coughs and hematosis, uh, lesions of the artola, uh, hypertension, hyperthyroidism, degenerative changes in the spine, pain and left shoulder treatment, conducted medical treatment procedure, CT scan of the chest showed uh, poly cyclic tumors uh infiltration in segments seven nine and ten of the left lung and dimensions of 60 by 65 by 48 millimeters and a lump in the diameter of eight millimeters in segment six seven of the right lung paratracheal lymph nodes enlarged to 14 millimeters trachea and main bronchial normal uh, cancer diagnosis based on the examination of material collected during lung tumor biopsy, injection or infusion of an anti-cancer chemotherapic agent as part of a palliative chemotherapy. Recommended uh, further palliative treatment recommended. Okay, so she's really, really sick. She's not doing well. The... Uh... I, I... I didn't know. Hmm. OK. 
Okay. Wow. Mia, I found the Lambda location, and it looks nothing like our tent. Then what is it? Yeah, it looks like a place of worship. The Yabawaka and Bai Ayahuasca. Look, the map pointed to this place. Maybe if you find its owner, you'll learn how to get out of there. You just have to keep going. Mm. I don't know if I can make it. it. It took me so long to get here. You can make it. I'm here with you, aren't I? And I'll be with you every step of the way. Just stay strong for me. Okay. I'll do I my will. Best. I promise. Alright, so let's see, um Mia. Is there anything else that you can see if we can't get a little bit accident. more information? Honey, I know as little as you do. I, I know, but I, I was I was running from something. I I don't know how to help you. Just do whatever it takes to survive, okay? Your memories might come back on their own. Yeah, well, maybe you're right. Over and out. Okay. All right. So. Hold on. This is leaving, right? Or is this? Hold on. Which which direction are we going? We're going east. Yeah, this should be the right way. Right? No. No. Yeah, it should be. Um, let's go look. Which way is this taking me, though? This is just back home, isn't it? No. Okay. I don't think I have enough room for any of this, but uh, water lily. I don't know what. Let's just eat it. Oh, water lilies gives us minus two food poisoning. No kidding. All right, let's harvest this guy. It does kind of startle you a little bit, doesn't it? Okay, so yeah, yeah, we, we came the right direction. Okay, okay, we're good. Um, there's another one of those plants. We have to remember that we can use those. And we're filthy, so hold on a second. Let's come down here. It's this way. All right, now this is Anaconda Island, right? There's our fishing pole. Okay, nice. Um... Okay, we'll read that in a second. Uh, I need to clean myself off real fast. 
And there should be a nice little prawn trap. It's spoiled already. Okay. Let's wash ourselves up. Um. Megan, too bad you can't stream all night or stay up all night playing with me because it would have been nice to have you join. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of the prawns. I just want to get rid of all the crappy ones so we can get new ones soon. Uh... Daggone, that has like tons in it, doesn't it? Alright, I don't know what they might want, so I'll just put the larva in there and hope that'll work. Uh, another thing that I would like to do is potentially in this spot right here, um, add storage. Not what I wanted. I want storage. Where's storage at? Can we not make storage? Welcome back, Audi. It's good to see you, bud. Can we not make mud in this version? I don't think we can make mud planters for like storage. What in the world? I think you should, Audi. I truly think you should. Yeah, we can't. Hold on. I want, I'm curious. What if I take mud? There we go. Okay, that's what I needed to do. All right, so I needed to pick up mud in order to, to find the mud mixer. Okay, okay, okay. And we got the mud water filtration right there. Okay, 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 okay. Now we gotta find the mud mixer. Why well, is a mud water filtration? There it is. You know what, dude? Hold on. You, buddy, are getting out of my way. All right. There we go. I'm going to set you down over there. Let's go ahead and break these. Okay. Yeah, destroy. All those can be destroyed. Good. Oh, that's not there. All right, now let's make our mud mixer here. Okay, here's one. How do I not have any sticks on me? Um... What can we get rid of here? Um, I'm just gonna throw this crap on the ground. We can find more caimans, I'm sure. All right, 
let's go ahead and get you. One, two. I really thought it would pop down more than two, but I thought we got three. But clearly, I was wrong. Audi, do you have an idea of what you might do for your uh, for your main base? Like, do you have a a thought for the styling of it? So we need three more. go that I just threw down apparently it's gone now did I get rid of all my campfire ash you know what I said I wouldn't even need it this round and clearly I'm a dummy Um, let's get rid of you too. We don't need you in here. Um, I guess we could just. I can't even make a fire right now. Another fireplace over here. Ah, oh, what? Okay, well. Oh, here we go. at least give us something and there's a tarp above us wonderful wonderful nice okay so we're gonna need some more wood which we had some over here I was thinking of like a unique twist on modern yet yeah, rustic kind of build. That'd be cool, Aldi. That'd be really cool, bud. Alright. Um So I think I also want to make just a regular campfire. Because we need some ash.
Okay. Let's just dump this crap over here. We don't need the bamboo sticks. There we go. Okay, what does this note say? A group of four people heading to the northwest direction. Two men, two women. Their internal dynamics suggest two couples. Young city folk, judging by their appearance and behavior. No visible signs of sickness. Probably healthy. No guns, machetes, knives, or knowledge of martial arts. Only one of them looks like they could pack a punch. They're messy, leaving tracks and minor items behind. So far, no meds in their trash. Joao, Joao, Jao, is that how, Jao? Something uh, leads the group, but there's no strong leader, loose structure. Carlos must love the group, buffed up, but his behavior shows that he has no solid training. Acts tough. Hasn't noticed me so far. Isabel, nurse, doctor, must have at least basic training. She passed up Carlos's mild, uh, minor wounds, has meds on her, and probably more medical equipment. The other woman, uh, she can tell apart poisonous and edible plants, but is not an expert. Basic training, an interest, a hobby maybe. They are clearly headed in a set direction. Jao has notes regarding the route. But they're impossible to read from afar. Uh, they are planning to meet someone looking for shelter, smugglers. Uh, they're talking about some medicine. Uh, and one of them, one of the women mentioned bodies in a hospital. Uh, they show a clear interest in natives, but they can't be dumb enough to try to approach them, can they? Findings of surveillance, they're harmless. The doctor could help Teresa. Uh, or Teresa. Uh... They might have useful information about drugs. Worth taking a chance. Okay. Uh, yesterday I removed the library that was that I was building because there was a building. The library was very ideal for the kind of build I want. That's awesome, Howdy. I'm happy for you, bud. Right, when you left earlier, I thought you were going to bed, man. Because usually if you're not going to bed, you just sit there and lurk. I thought you were going to sleep. Could you just not sleep? All right. So what I want to do now is do I still have water in the bidden? I do. Okay. So let's go ahead and put it out. We can't get campfire ash from that. Oh, that's a pain in the butt. Uh, let's get rid of the spear, I suppose. Give me my axe back. Bag of nuts. Uh, my name is Isabel. And I'm a nurse. I saw with my own eyes how many hospitals turned into a hospice where patients were given useless IVs and no one is waiting for a miracle. I want everyone's waiting for a miracle. No one is really trying to help, whether it's the doctors, giant corporations, or the government. This is why I decided to do something. Together with a group of friends, I set off to the jungle to find a tribe that started it all. If the natives can cause this disease, they must know how to treat it. According to Higgins... They are not aggressive, so I intend to ask politely for their help. Obviously, I'm aware that I can't develop the perfect drug for myself. Uh, I'm not stupid. Still, I believe that the information I'll gain may be used by someone else. I'll share my findings with anyone who offers a fair deal. Of course, I'm not doing it for the money. I want to help save human lives, but the expedition will take some time, and it will be dangerous not to mention that five more people are joining me. Okay, nothing really going into that. Um, this note we already read. I was hoping to get a little bit more information. Uh, I guess we'll just try to get a little bit of food. We got one raw prawn in there. That's annoying. Um... But I guess it doesn't really matter. 
because we have 94 of 100 clean water, I suppose we could may I don't know if this will work, but let's see if we can't take the bidden here. And put some water in here. Let that boil up. It only does 30 though, so let's drink that up. That's now clean. So yeah, we could just do that. That's actually not that bad of an idea. Oh, you're trying to think of ideas for the build. Nice. I know this is going to take a minute, but you know what? At least it's a way for us to get what we need. All right. I wanted to make one of the water filtration things, but I think what I'll do more so than that is I will set it up for when we go into the spirits of Amazonia. And, uh, and I'll focus on that. All right. hundred out of a hundred. Why is that not doing anything? <laughs> this is so stupid. Okay, whatever. All right, we'll just fill that back up. We have some food on us. We're 44.9. Uh, we do have some painkillers, which is really good. We'll have some extra water. Uh, another thing I suppose we could do is we'll be able to fill up the bidden too here in just a second. There you go. That'll, that'll at least give us 10. So this will give us 30. And then this one will give us 10. So that will be full right there. So we're good with that. This is full here. Uh, and this is just our bags and stuff like that. So that should be good. Um, let's take that. And it's nighttime. So... What is in this area? We don't have another map yet. Okay. Um, so I suppose we could Go to sleep, wake up, eat what we need, and then head out. I suppose that'll be the best thing that we could do right now. Let's harvest this. Um, let's go ahead and put a plank in. Another plank. No, it won't let me put another plank in. Why not? Only one plank can go in? That's ridiculous. All right, now let's go to sleep. Uh, hold on, we got something on us. All right, 
it's gonna sleep real fast. Why is it not going to sleep? There we go. All right, we'll also save game here. And that should still be running. We're good. You know what? How are we looking on water? It's probably, no, we're still okay. We do need some carbs, which I would assume, no, nuts, nuts. That's not going to give us carbs, is it? This gives us carbs. Let's eat that. All right, that should be good for now. Um, let's see if there's anything else in any more bags. Oh, more painkillers. Heck yeah. Let's go ahead and harvest these. Uh, we can't carry all these, <laughs> so... Let's, uh, let's dump a few out. Oh, can I get that? I can. Nice. Uh, let's also just drink what we can. And we know we can come back and get some if we need it. And I think that should be good. Let's go ahead and eat this side real fast. All right. Now let's. Start heading east. And there's nothing in this, right? We can't go in that bag. Nope. There's nothing else in this one. Nothing else in this one. Okay. And there's no other bags, really? Okay, well, two painkillers is still... I wish I could take the little teddy bear, though. That'd be really sweet. All right, uh, oh, here's some charcoal. What? Oh, there's campfire ash right there. All right, we're taking that. Um, how are we looking on fats? Oh, we need some more carbs. Um... Fats and carbs. Let's eat that. That brings it down to 49.6. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right, east. We're just going to head straight out this way. We're just going to take it slow. All right. Is he dead? He's got to be dead. He does not look dead. But I'm not going to take you. I got enough food. Um. Is there a cave or something over here? Um. I thought there was a... Hmm. 
Maybe it's up top. We just gotta go around and go climb up there. I don't know if I can though. Hmm. What is that there? Huh. All right. We shall find what we need. Eventually. Hmm. There's gotta be a way to get up there, right? No, I guess not. This looks promising. Here we go. Is anything up here? Oh, nice. There's a cave here, too. Oh, it's just like a sleepy cave or something. <laughs> lots of rocks, lots of big rocks. All right, keep going east. All right, let's keep going east. We could kill another armadillo real fast and try to make more armadillo armor. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea. I found a camp. It looks abandoned, but clearly someone's been living here for a long time. Any idea who it might have been? Well, I did read somewhere that a few years back, an Englishman walked the entire length of the Amazon River, and it took him over two years. Wow. Uh, worlds full of passionate people. Yeah, yeah, it, it really is. But something here doesn't add up. It looks as if they just disappeared leaving all their gear that just doesn't make sense that is strange but maybe it's a good thing you can just grab what you need yeah doesn't look like anybody will be needing any of that Audi terraforming can be the worst man yeah they had a kid with them I you, you don't have to say anything I guess I just had to share this with you. You know, they might still be somewhere out there. What the hell? You don't have to come for me. Okay. So you're telling me that there was a snake right next to a freaking... Oh my Jesus, really? This 
So we had a Goliath spider. And a snake right next to each other. So I tried to avoid the snake and got bit by the Goliath spider. That's that's freaking awesome. But Audi, terraforming can be super fun if you... Have something fun to listen to like I hear that there's a pretty cool streamer Named mr. Fox and socks that uh, that's supposed to be pretty cool I don't know if you know him, but he seems to be pretty cool from what I was told Always help kill some time, you know. Oh, nice, the airfield. You've heard of him? That's awesome, man. Yeah, I hear I hear good things about him. I just found an airstrip. Oh, fantastic. Well, what are you waiting for? Radio for help. Right, I'm on it. Mia, just before the accident, you called me in the middle of the night. What happened? I... My lamp went out. I panicked. You you wasted my time because your light went out and you panicked. No, come on. You were scared. What happened? I know. I'm sorry. Don't worry about me. I need to know if everything's all right. Okay? It's not all right. How can it be? You're out there, far away from me. Hey, hey that'd be a good right. idea, Audi. It was just a dumb question, okay? I'm just worried. I know, mi amor. Mi amor. I know, mi amor. Okay, Mia. I, uh, I have something to tell you, but don't freak out, okay? Why would I freak out? I, um, well, I might have come across the Cayman. What? Jake, estás bien? Hecho daño? Told you not to freak out. I'm talking to you, right? It means that I'm fine. And what about the Cayman? He was tasty. I killed it. How am I supposed to stay calm when you are charging at Caymans? But I killed it. Sure, but it could have just as easily killed you. That's true, but I killed the Cayman by myself. <laughs> You're not letting this go, huh? Nope. Congratulations. You are the king of the jungle. I know. Ah, this is exactly what I wanted to hear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. Yeah, I, I drank another dose of ayahuasca and... But why didn't you tell me you were sick? Uh, Jake. 
Is that why we were here? Yabawaka have a remedy and we were going to get it for you? If only it was that simple. I would have told you already. Then why don't you just do it? I'm afraid them. you won't get back to me and all I want is for you to be safe. Whatever it is, Mia, please tell me. Please, Jake. Just keep going. Okay. If you can't make Hold on, guys. I need to end this poll. It's annoying the crap out of me. All right, there we go. It, neither can I. Let's just not bring this up again until you're safe, okay? I don't understand any of it. But I know I have to find you. Let's just focus on that, please. Uh, I'll respond to that later. Um. Uh, looks like someone was attempting a uh, blood transfusion here. There's a lot of it. On the chair and the floor. I doubt any of the patients actually survived. Why would they do that? I wish I knew. Or, on second thought, maybe I don't. Okay. Um. On a lighter note, I did find a pouch of gold. Really? That's what you're doing now? Looting? <laughs> if only we had internet access, I would have been able to put it up for sale. What do you do with all those millions? Buy us a house. Come on. You always wanted to buy a yacht. What do you say? I mean, I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind either. All right. Uh, I'm just trying to clear these out, guys. As for that camp, looks like they're resourceful. They even killed an anaconda and put its carcass on display. I wonder why they do that. Uh, to show a sign of strength. The natives have their totems. Well, they have theirs. Should be enough to scare away any outsiders. Ah, uh, got it. Survival of the fittest. Okay. Hey, Mia. Are you asleep? <sighs> no, not really. What's up? Oh, nothing. Just... I'm terrified. You're spending the night there, alone. You are worried about me. Really? Well, I can't help it. I wish I could see you. Yeah. Me too. Me too. Okay. Alright, there we go. We cleared out all the dialogue. Thank goodness. Alright, um... So we have to get this working. There's down bottom. Anything else out here I can get? Can't read that, okay. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh. Should do it. All right, antenna should be fixed. Let's radio out of here, guys. Hello, can anyone hear me? I need help. Anyone, come in, please. I need help. Anyone, come in, please. Fucking hell! Ooh. Copy. This is Manaus control tower. Over. <laughs> nice. Can you hear me? You can really hear me? I need help. Affirmative. Keep calm now. I can hear you. You're going to be all right. Please give us your name and position. Over. This is Jake Higgins. I'm on a makeshift airstrip in the middle of the jungle. 
I'm not sure where exactly. Copy it. That Jake Higgins? Again? Okay. I know where you are. Please hold. Over. Okay. Are you alone? Over. There's a girl with me. Mia. Copy. Is there a man with you? Over. A man? A man? No. There's nobody else here. Are you still there? What do I do? Copy. Just stay where you are. Over. W will someone fly over? How long should I wait? Keep calm and stay put. Help is on the way. Over Help is on the way, dear. Okay. I am I supposed to just wait for God knows how long? Answer, please. I beg you. Please, please answer me. I don't know what's going on. Fuck. 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 What was that? You can't believe I'm already here? Meg, I've actually been going kind of slow. Help is on the way. <laughs> it's last. I'm trying to take my time. That was a time. strange conversation, though. They asked me if there was a man here. Any idea what all that was about? I'm just glad you're safe now. Right. And since I know how to get out of here, now I need to find you. Just come home. Come home? Hold on. How can we come home if you're here? No. No, I won't leave you behind. You have to. You have to make it. For me. find here is disappointment you don't need me anymore Jake it's time for me to go stay where you are and wait for help no no Mia talk to me where are you mm. Mia come in I can't just abandon you Mia say something Please. Me, come on. It's time to go. I found a way out. Please. God damn it, say something. Hmm. All right. We got a key. New dialogue unlock. Mia, come in, please. Mia, come in, please. We have 5% left. All right, we got some climbing equipment. What is all this? A new map. A map? Yes. All right. Passenger A1, A2, Jake Higgins, Vega, Smith, Sobel, Alvarez, and De Magilililu, uh, which means she didn't come with us. Hmm. All right. Field Projects Department. Philip Smith. Samples. We remind you of the obligation to examine every known species of local fauna and flora. In the last transport, we only received a handful of samples of flora. So far, only 3% of the species present in the jungle have been tested for their feasibility. We expect you to increase the number of packages sent. The procedure remains unchanged. Collect two samples of each specimen. The first one is to be examined on site. The other is to be well secured, packaged, described in detail, and then sent by plane. All data is to be included in the catalog. Sloppiness will not be tolerated. Alvarez, report number eight. I've spotted a fire northwest from the Delta camp. So far, I've determined that there are around six people on the island. At least one is a child, so I'm guessing these are 
refugees from the city. I watched them all day. It looks like they're unaware of our presence. For now, the group doesn't pose any threat to the mission. I suppose they feel safe on the island and are likely to stay there. I don't think they have any useful information, so there's no need for contact, but I'll keep an eye on them. End of report. Hmm. Okay, so that's the guy that was watching the other ones. Okay. All right, guys, give me uh, give me one second. Uh, everybody should get up, stand up, stretch for a second. We haven't done a stand up stretch in like three hours, so uh, so let's listen to a little bit of music and let's do that real fast. Grab yourself some water, some popcorn, whatever. much better oh it's good to have some stretches guys it's always good to have a few stretches in um so <clears throat> now that we have the new map we also need to get a sleep in here shortly um because our energy is kind of running down but we do have a new map so here's an airstrip. What's the point C1? Uh, I need to rest. Point C1. Oh, huh. all right. I guess we'll go check a, take a look at that. Uh, we also have some food. We do have food on us, so that's good. Uh, considering we just got some climbing equipment, I'm just going to assume, possibly, that it has something to do with climbing. We can't get in there. What are these? Oh, more cocaine. Do you want to play with a snowman? <laughs> oh, another bag of nuts. Okay. Let's go take a nap real fast. We'll just wait. We'll just wait. Until the very end. God, we could use a drink. All right. Was there anything back there that we can grab? No, just cassette tapes and stuff. Okay. There's nothing else in here. Nope. All right. So let's go ahead and finish off our bidding. That should have been fairly decent for us. Uh, we need some carbs and some fats. So this will give us a little bit of that. And then you know what? One of these cans of tuna will probably be good for us. Uh, which means we should be good for at least a little while. All right. So with all this said and done, we can't do anything else with that. All right. So now the next step is going to be if we're up here, I guess just southeast is where we need to start heading. So... Just double check. Yep, another candy bar. Good. Um, all right. Southeast. Do we have another leech on us or something? Oh, we do. There we go.
It did seem it like it was this way, right? That's where we need to go down there. I'm assuming. All right. Hi ho. Audi, is it going to be a big project on the server? Oh, there he is right there. I didn't even see him, man. Man, you freak me out, okay? All right. We're making our way, guys. We're getting there. Um, kind of. It's not like a scale of your base. It's going to be modern, large build. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Medium, large build. Makes total sense, bud. All right. We got some diving gear here. Let's go. this gonna take us okay Holy crap. Um Well, let's um uh, looks like this is the direction we need to go. What is new? Uh, wait for wait at the airstrip for help and find Mia. Yeah, that's that can't happen. Can't really find Mia if she never came, unless there's a possibility that we left the island for some reason because she wanted to stay to work with the tribe and then we came back we posted our book and then we came back maybe I don't know all right wouldn't this be cool if this was like a slide that would be awesome um all right No, no, it won't let us slide down. <laughs> Blue. I don't know what you're talking about. What do you mean, Blue? All right. 
You are still here. I didn't think you were here anymore. I figured you went to bed. Soon? Yeah, I figure. You gotta be at work at like 6 a.m., don't you? I think we've kind of screwed ourselves. Oh, it went bad? We should have used that heart of palm already. Dag gum it. Either a wild plant preserve or an ordered garden with a pond, maybe. Ooh, that'd be nice. All right, we need to find the plants and everything. Oh, you're off tomorrow. Oh, nice. Yeah, but that means you got to work on Saturday, right? <gasps> he did. Luke, what's up, bud? How are you doing, man? So it's good that you have off tomorrow, but at the same point, a little frustrating because you you got to go in on Saturday, but I get it. Okay, okay, okay so we got this. Luke, how you feel? Or Pluck, sorry. Pluck, how you doing today, bud? I always call you Pluke. I don't know why. Because I do, duh. Um, Yeah, I don't know, man. I, I remember like that first day, which it makes sense that it would be pluck because, you know, there's no E at the end of your name, but you know, whatever, dude, it's, it's all good. All right. Ooh, hey, maggots. Hmm, how do we get in this? Oh, daggummit. Got some hot coffee, just arrived at work. Heck yeah, bud. You had a good stream earlier today, man. Well, for me, it was today. For you, it was yesterday, so. All right, let's travel a little bit. Let's go over this way. You're working on the fact. I thought you were working on terraforming, Audi. Please tell me. Thank goodness. And I'll take you too. Uh, we actually can't take you. Uh, I need you. Can we bring these down here maybe? And you here? And then... Still no space, huh? 
I mean, I guess I don't need the bone needle. Uh, I really wanted to keep that campfire ash, though, didn't I? Um... What if we move you here and bring you up here? Why did it just freak out on me? There we go. Much better. Now we can. There we go. Uh, before I started, we met two sweaty galleons. Who were TDMing out of their minds? Really? Oh. I wish you had recorded some of that, man. That would have been awesome to watch. I'm at 50 of 50. Come on, dude. There we go. All right, we have everything that we need except potentially sticks, but it looks like we have tons of stuff around here, so we should, should be okay. Looks like, what, four left? Let's go get a little bit more wood. Pluck, you ever seen this? You ever seen this game? Remember to log in today. It's six year anniversary. It's today? You mean today, like tomorrow. As in the 20th, right? Yeah. All right. Do we have what we need? Gosh, dang it. Oh, and we actually literally just had the tobacco plant. We could have used one of them. Oh, my Jesus. Seriously? Okay, good, good, good. That just worried me. Is it it's golden glory from the twentieth to the twenty fifth, right? It's not today. It might be today, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, 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 but the 20th to the 25th is what I'm saying. I think is when the Golden Glory is. I'm not 100% sure, though. You are from the future, my dude. Whoa, look at that snake, guys. Holy crap. Time to de get tripping.
Double the usual go. Okay, so yeah, we clearly for the next five days need to be on you Sea of Thieves. What the worst part about this disease is? The doctors gave me six months. How am I supposed to live my life when time is running out? How the fuck do I? I just can't. I can't do this anymore. I wake up next to you every day, knowing there's no future for us. I just can't take it. The pain? I want to end it and just be done. It feels like someone is holding my heart in an iron fist and I can't. Breathe. I just lie there and look at you. No cancerous changes found. Underlining disease and complications none. Treatment. Conduct medical treatment procedures. CT scan of the chest didn't show any tumors in the lungs. Lungs, trachea, and main bronchi normal. Blood test results unremarkable. Inducted surgical treatment procedures recommendations regarding further treatment patient has been discharged recommended checkup in two months She's no longer cancerous It is done. Amula Corp has launched a new era in the history of mankind. The revolutionary drug has entered production and soon cancer will finally be defeated. Everything began with the traveler Jake Higgins who went to Amazonia and brought back the secret to eternal health and then shared his findings with Amula Corp. The company immediately started research on the new drug which will cure cancer once and for all. One of the worst sicknesses will soon be completely eradicated. It may be hard to believe, but the results of the tests are unambiguous. The cure is really working and leads to full remission. And this is only the beginning. The medical revolution is gaining momentum and there's already research underway aimed at eliminating other sicknesses. Thanks to a molecule. The impossible has become possible, and today we are standing before a unique opportunity to ensure that mankind is healthy and durable like never before. The pharmaceutical company is one of the uh, one to convince Jake Higgins to share the secrets of eternal wealth. Uh, health and has immediately started developing new drug all right we we know all this stuff this is all just the same stuff this is all just him like patty cake and himself okay clearly i haven't touched something all right brazilian dream come true while the brazilian pharmaceutical company amola corp is giving away free injections of the supposedly revolutionary cure it all to the country's citizens the rest of the world watches in outrage as the prices of the drugs keep soaring. Until recently, only people interested in the pharmaceutical market recognized the name of Molucorp. But now the company is on everyone's lips. The drug it developed in record time is said to work as a perfect vaccine that ensures immunity to all kinds of illnesses. And for those already sick, it stimulates the immune system, causing a remission and complete recovery. Although all of this sounds unreal, the internet is full of photos and clips presenting testimonies of people cured of cancer, AIDS, or lupus. A study has also been published that shows great effectiveness of the drug against Ebola, 
which had been untreated so far. Untreatable so far. However, a Molucorp has refused to give access to the drug to foreign medical labs. Therefore, no research outside of Brazil has proven its effects. This doesn't seem to discourage the sick and dying from all around the world. They set up online fundraisers hoping to collect the unimaginable amounts of money needed for treatment. Those who can make a pilgrimage to Brazil in hopes of getting an injection for free. People are queuing up at the border, waiting to be let in, and airlines are launching new connections to address the rising demand. Although a Molu Corp is giving away the drug for free in Brazil, the profits of the company have already reached billions of dollars. The company has exclusive rights to the new drug and keeps its ingredients secret. Not to let anyone copy the formula. This means that it is free to dictate the price for other countries. According to unofficial reports, among the parties negotiating with the Molucorp are not only importers from the USA, but also governments of different countries, aiming to provide their citizens with access to the drug. Details of these conversations haven't been made public yet. But we know that Amolo Corp is looking to build its branches around the world. Initially, at least. One per each continent. A race between world powers is underway. And it will determine the choice of first locations. The success of Amolo Corp is slowly affecting the entire country. Brazil, so far the world's eighth largest economy, is now on its way to the very top. Thanks to this medical discovery, the country is becoming a force previously unknown to the world. It has already outrun China and can soon become the richest, most influential superpower in the world. And this is not only due to the rising profits of the sales of the new medicine, but also the rapid development thanks to a healthier, stronger society. Today, we don't know yet where this experiment of eliminating the illness of the entire population will lead us, but it's possible that Brazil will bring about a world revolution. I can't blame you for the decisions you made. You chose me, not knowing the cost. Would you do it again? Or was the price of healing me too high? What price? What did we... What did I do? Tell me, please. Speed more important than quality. Drug for Molar Corp already available. Barely a year has passed since the Brazilian pharmaceutical company started working on a new revolutionary drug and the medicine in question is already in use and being administered to patients. The world's medical experts are outraged about this violation of procedures and express concern over the safety of patients. On Tuesday, the WHA officially condemned the actions of Amolu Corp, which introduced the new drug onto the market at such a record-breaking speed. According to the WHA, it is impossible to conduct all necessary tests and adhere to international guidelines for new drugs in such a short time. Meanwhile, the president of Brazil has offered his support to the company, indicating that the drug had been approved for sale by the appropriate legislation office. He also added that the gravely ill can't spare several years to wait for an effective treatment. According to the CEO, the drug was examined and is safe to use. It is also said to be exceptionally effective against cancer. Supposedly, the medicine uh, supposedly the medicine leads to a complete and swift recovery while also preventing recurrences and metastasis. This is why its rushed introduction onto the market is supported by organizations from all over the world. Before a drug makes its way to patients, The development of any drug starts with searching for new ways to treat a particular sickness, condition, or symptoms. In the first phase, as many of hundreds of thousands of chemical substances and compounds are examined for their healing or preventative potential. Next, out of that pool, a small number 
of those most promising ones are chosen. They undergo preclinical trials, which are conducted on live tissue or bacteria, and take approximately five years. It isn't until the next phase that the substances choose are chosen from the initial pool are administered to the people and in a series of strictly regulated clinical trials which take up to six years only then can a pharmaceutical company apply for registration the application is examined by the registration authority for about a year and a half once approved once approval is received the production of the drug can finally be launched and then it is introduced to the market this isn't the end of the procedure though every officially available drug is under constant strict supervision what happened to the couch unknown virus detected in brazil it's been a week since Brazilian hospitals shared information about new occurrences of the identified, the unidentified virus. To date, a dozen cases have been reported. For safety reasons, the patients have been isolated. Most of them have slipped into a coma, and the doctors describe their condition as serious. Tests are being conducted to identify the virus and its mutations. Currently, the patients are provided with symptomatic treatment whose aim is to increase their comfort. Authorities urge citizens to show suspicious symptoms whom authorities urge citizens who show suspicious symptoms or have been in contact with an infected person to get checked in the nearest hospital. One of the first symptoms of the infection are high fever and pale blue subdermal lesions. The authorities also assure the public that the situation is under control and there is no risk of an outbreak. The situation in Brazilian hospitals is becoming worse. Over several dozen people died in connection with the unidentified virus, and the number of diagnosed infections is on the rise. The hospitals are struggling to accommodate the incoming flood of patients. Initially, the sick were kept in isolation, but no hospital has the sufficient number of isolation wards for all the affected. Entire wards and even wings of hospitals are being turned into quarantine zones. Unfortunately, the efforts of the medical personnel may not be enough to prevent an outbreak. People in an advanced stage of the illness are found at homes, in the streets, and in public spaces, thus spreading the virus even further. The worst scenario is playing out in the poorest districts. Poor sanitation and access to health care paired with the distrustful attitude of the citizens toward the authorities make it even more difficult to contain the virus in the areas. The Minister of Health assures the public that several research teams are currently working independently to identify the virus. At the same time, a special investigative task force has been found to determine the source and cause of the outbreak. The President of Brazil claims that the situation is under control, but is asking the citizens to follow strict safety measures and avoid public spaces if possible. Several big events were canceled for safety reasons, and kindergartens and schools see a decline in attendance, despite the reassuring tone of the authorities. Brazil is on the brink of chaos. <laughs> yeah, Blue, it, it might, just a little, kind of, kind of a big deal. outbreak of unknown disease spiraling out of control. Not long ago, Brazil aspired to become the world's greatest superpower, but now it has found itself on the brink of total collapse. A mysterious disease has already cost Brazil the lives of 20 million people. The country is running out of medical supplies, and the government has lost control of the country. If the outbreak spreads beyond the borders, the crisis may consume the entire continent. Due to the tragic situation in Brazil, the neighboring countries have introduced procedures that are meant to protect their citizens from becoming infected. 
Additional forces have been deployed to control the borders, and official crossings have been closed. Runaways, who are trying to escape Brazil illegally, are apprehended and sent back. The rest of the world has also introduced restrictions. Most airports have suspended all flights to and from Brazil. At a special conference organized by the WHA, representatives from all around the world are debating how to stop the unidentified virus from spreading any further. One of the first propositions is to fortify the safety measures at the Isthmus of Panama. From a geographical perspective, it is the most convenient place to stop the outbreak because the epidemic has already reached Colombia. Other propositions include building barbed wire, barbed wire entanglements, fences, or even a wall reaching from coast to coast, engaging major military forces is being considered. It's easy to notice the helplessness of the WHA in the face of this crisis. All the solutions discussed so far are mostly aimed at protecting the countries that haven't been affected by the disease. No one has proposed a method of efficient treatment for the virus or containment of the chaos-ridden area. The first day of the conference has led to disappointing conclusion, and the world still cannot feel safe. They all believed this was the only solution. Shutting down airports, seaports, and now this? They are isolating the entire continent. Oh. oh! Look up, look up, who was it? Oh. Whoa, what are all these holes? Wow. You think? You think I was worth it? Twenty million people, guys. 20 million people in Brazil. Yeah, do you think I was worth it? this yeah Higgins, you 
piece of shit! Pick up that fucking call! You and that cunt of yours are just a bunch of fucking frauds! I know you couldn't be trusted! I hope you die, scumbag! It's because of you! All of it! No, no, no! I'll fuck you up myself when I get out of here! Sir, you're not getting out of anywhere. All right. Well. Just got to get a little stretching in, you know what I mean? All right. Um. Let's go. Mm. Yeah, that is a very, very powerful, very powerful blue. Do you think I was worth it? Go guys, let's see what else we have to do. Well, that's where we just came from, right? Right here. this what the hell happened here yeah this is our this is our old base right figure out how to get back down. Is it this way? Yeah, I think it was this way. Yeah, 
There they are. Well, I'll get some rations. Alvarez, report number three. Camp Omega is now up and running. I checked the perimeter with Vega and found nothing alarming. So far, we've both been guarding the camp in turns, switching every six hours. But starting tomorrow, he will be in charge of Omega, and I will move into Delta. We agreed to communicate on the radio on a regular basis every five hours. Most of the team is unproblematic, but I'm not sure if it was a good idea to take the Higgins with us. We've only been here a couple of days, and I'm already sick of the good doctor's ramblings. He is only focused on his wife. Vega and I will keep an eye on him. End of report. Um, last transport, 1200 UTC Thursday. Following reports, number 37 and 39, which confirm that the mission is futile due to the lack of Y object. A Mogul Corp aborts any works conducted in this area. Your orders are to evacuate the base. All units are to report on board of the plane 1200 UTC. On Thursday, any delays or evacuation at the different time are not taken into consideration. All equipment is to be left in place. Once the members of the expedition return, they shall undergo a year-long quarantine to which they agree in their signed contracts. Any attempts to avoid or shorten the period of quarantine, refusal to undergo tests, or failure to submit final reports shall be treated as a breach of a contract. The following are strictly prohibited. Contact with media, contact with people outside of the strictly specified group assigned to the project, contact with other research facilities, disclosure of any information regarding tasks conducted by a Mogul Corp, breach of a contract and or NDA shall be severely punished. Dr. Smith, report number 23. Again, it's about Higgins. His behavior is starting to spiral out of control obsession with his wife's health is disrupting the team's work. Once again, I want to make it clear that I don't have the professional knowledge to diagnose him, but I suspect a mental breakdown. It's getting worse with each day. Should I put him on medication? We have some sedatives on hand. Please advise. Oh, I almost forgot. I've packed all the specimens according to the new guidelines. I hope this time they will reach their destination without any problems. End of report. Hmm. Okay, the last note here that we see is due to problems with connectivity. All further reports are to be recorded with audio logs. Reports must contain a number, person giving the report, and location. There is no requirement regarding the number of reports. It should be adjusted to any developments. Audio logs will be collected. Basically, that's it just goes into that. All right. Nothing over here, just canned tuna, which we can't take. Okay. Alright, please insert test tube.
Unfortunately, aside from this usage, I haven't found evidence of any other medicinal properties. Apart from its terrible taste, the plant doesn't have any other distinguishable features. Of course, a sample along with full biochemical analysis will be included in the nearest transport. End of report. Okay, so this goes here. Now I just need the right sample. Success. Sample fusion is a success. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a cure. This can't be. Mia, I found it. Answer, please. I have a cure. Come on. God damn it. Speak to me. New entry in our book. Now examine the tribal village. We've done everything. Now we just got to find Mia. Oh, let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. What is this up here? Okay. That's everything we need to do. And you are right. I could have just eaten it. I probably should have. All right. Now that we have the cure, let's head north back to the location we were just at. the cure 20 million people have died and we have finally found a cure Probably be a good idea if while we make our way down here we sleep at that tent it is late and although we don't have a ton of food on us uh, well technically I guess we got plenty of food don't we yeah and we got the MRE these are garbage let's go ahead and get rid of this crap uh, these are bad Okay. And we have plenty of water. All right, we're still looking pretty good. All right. It'll still be a little dark, but I think we'll be okay. All right, there isn't really anything here. So, let's work our way this way. What do I have on me? Jeez Louise. Yeah. 
So this is back at the very beginning. <laughs> if y'all remember. This is where we came up, where we called for Mia. She was right down there at the very beginning of the game. Six and a half hours ago, exactly. Now it seems as though there is a log. This was not here before. up here let's check it out yeah you're not gonna believe this no. Shit. Did that not pick it up? Oh, it did. It put it over here this time. I wonder why I put it over here instead of over here. That's the village. Guys, look. That's the circle. That's the circle they were talking about before. All right, we got to get down there. Just in case I want to take a couple of these. God, I'm thirsty. Well, it's a good thing I brought some water home. Should have just filled us up all the way. Yeah, it did. Good. Let's go. I have a feeling that's going to hurt if I jump down. All right, let's go check out that village. Yeah, I know there's a path down. <laughs> I know, bud. New map location. Mia? Mia, where are you? Mia, say something. They're gone. Notebook, new entry. All right, this village Mia called me from, but there's no one here, not even one tribesmen there is another ceremonial place though I guess there's only one thing there's only one thing for it I must take ayahuasca one more time okay is there anything around here anything Mia left is there any notes or anything Doesn't look like anything's here. It's empty. Everyone is gone. 
I wonder who gets this private area. Probably the chief, huh? I guess that's kind of private over there, too. Okay. Let's go check it out. All right. Notebook. Oh, uh, no more at all? Oh, my goodness. Seriously. So how many do we need left? We need four more. Okay. One, two. Three, four. All right. I don't think we have any of that. We don't. So let's go ahead and harvest these. Alright guys, here we go. You're gonna miss them again. Mia, where are you? You'll stay here with me again is that what you want i just want you no no not again mia i just want you just tell me what happened you cured me you gave me back hope. I could taste and smell again. I could eat without throwing up. Those were the best six months of my life. And you were by my side the whole time. The cake isn't a lie. Guys, the cake isn't a lie. But Jake, I feel it coming back. I'm afraid of it. I lived, but felt dead. I can't go through all that again. I can feel the same grip on my throat. I, I can't swallow or breathe. Seconds stretch into hours, and, and, and I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting to die. Every patient of a Molochor became a walking time bomb. Everyone was infected. Everyone. Even you. But I'm okay. Why is there an A there? It's Mia? Is there an M somewhere? Nope. It's a J and M H. There's no A, so who is who is A? This isn't your house, Mia. You left me here. You left me alone to die. You wanted to save me again, but what will the price be this time, Jake? What will you sacrifice this time? Me and my darling. Oh no. What the? What happened here? Why are they all dead? Everything we do makes the tribe suffer. Oh 
Oh my god. Is that because of my book? It's easier not to remember, isn't it? Do you even remember how you got here? Of course I do. By boat. With you. We put up a tent and... Are you sure? I... I don't understand. How long have you been here? I... Mia... Uh, you know I can't remember. Just tell me. of millions on your conscience. Maybe it'd be easier to just push it all away. Forget. Start again. Joe are ribs. Beatrice House, Diego. Mia Higgins. Oh no. Mia. Vitals look pretty good. Yeah, are you? What happened? You didn't listen, did you? I, I don't understand. Why are you here? I told you already. I begged you to end it, but you didn't listen. You never do. Was it worth it? Did you get what you wanted? Yes. I have the cure. And now I know where to find you. Then go. What are you waiting for? I don't want to leave you. I'll be, I'll be right there.
Let's go, guys. Time for us to go home. We have the cure. We have it all. No. You leave me alone. Just sit in the water. Mm, what a beautiful game. Tower, come in. This is Jake Higgins. I got it. I got what everybody's been looking for. Did I... Did I hear you correctly? Say again. Over. Yes. Yes, you heard me right. I have the cure. Uh, a, a cure? Oh my god. Are you certain? I'll send somebody right away. You know how hard it is to get permission these days? Christ. I, is this really over? Just... Hurry. I wanted to say goodbye to you. You think I'm still waiting for you? I have to believe that. I mean, I'm only alive because of you. You know, you could always come back. To me. I really hope that this won't be necessary. Hey, Mia. Thank you. Goodbye, mi amor. That is just an absolute amazing game. Boy, you stayed up for the whole thing. Hey, Meg. Now, we just have to tackle the spirits of Amazonia which will clearly be our next endeavor. So what is y'all's favorite part of the game? Is there anything specific? Is there anything that y'all enjoyed most? What is, uh, what do you think is the best part? If I finish that one in one night, you'll send me a hundred bucks. Really blue. Really? Hmm. Well, challenge accepted. <coughs> challenge accepted. Hey, Audi.
Okay. Well, since it's such a long game, uh, is that negotiable? <laughs> like if I finish it in one stream, maybe a new two terabyte or four terabyte NVMe for my uh for the pc huh huh winky winky <laughs> yeah lmao yeah i know i'm just teasing man um it is a long story but it's it's gonna make for a good time uh i don't know if i'll be able to finish the other one in uh in 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 one stream but uh i didn't think i'd be able to sit here this long tonight you know so after physical therapy and everything else and it's been such a rough rough past four days physical and pain wise so you just finished most of the foundation that's awesome Audi. well blue thank you so much for joining and hanging out all night i really appreciate you my friend meg thank you as well you're absolute absolutely lovely and wonderful Audi. thank you so much and Audi for uh for for becoming a member maintaining your member again over here on youtube i appreciate you my friend uh you're great and even read out all the notes and letters i tried you know i figured it would be a good time to especially because we're going to be on youtube i wanted it to kind of you know just uh just read through everything and then possibly take this stream and uh and and cut it down into you know 20 minute videos maybe we can make it a little better you know but who knows uh blue i hope you're enjoying your vr uh i guess tomorrow we will be back on twitch and i wanted to continue subnautica however it's golden glory which means we'll probably be on sea of thieves for the next five days um because i want to get my my two curses so yeah, it's definitely sot time for sure. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being here tonight. I appreciate your patience and, and all of your advice and keeping me company. I appreciate you. Uh, but the time has come and we have run out of just that time. So please remember to tip all your bartenders and your waitresses. If it's your birthday, happy freaking birthday. And as always, stay foxy. Bye.